your life. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ming and Mike Show, broadcasting live from the home of a shared universe. Uh, my name is Ming Chen, sitting across from me. Me? It's me. It's Mike, Mike Zapsic, Zapsic, for God's sake. I feel sake. weird. I'm not beyond the board today. You're I know. Your kid, where you got your kid? We're training uh, uh, the up-and-comers. Children are our future, so I I weep for the future. No, are you, are you Whitney, Whitney Houston? Yes, that's me. I'm Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going Daniel there. Daniel Zapsic, the greatest <laughs> love of all. <laughs> It's uh yeah. What's up, everybody? And, I um, will always love you, Daniel. Yeah, say you say hi. Hi. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you wow. Go. He he's alive, he, everybody. Yeah, he he takes after his father in the gregarious column. He's alive. Not as angry. Are you teaching him to be as? Uh, no, no. I, I'm letting are. life teach him to be angry. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Atta boy. Um, but w- without further ado, we have a guest. We, we have a very special guest. waiting to get in here for years. Yes, and you've been asking for. I'm. Uh, it's been about eight years. Okay. So, with no further ad- no further ado, this is Pizza John. Hello, podcast. Universe. Get in, get in there. You got to get, get on there. top. Of it. Yeah, or you get yeah, uh, yeah. Crank him, crank nah, him up. Crank him. You can sit back. You can sit back. You can sit back. Pizza no, John, I'm, I'm here. You're here. Finally, he's not a figment of my imagination. After I swear all to these God. years, uh, would you like to give him an introduction? Absolutely. Okay. Pizza and I, um, when I. This is going way back. When I first quit drinking, I was a lost puppy. I was a lost soul. I had to learn how to like do everything in life all over again. Not like walk or like take a dump. Right. But, the example? Uh, like be a conscientious worker, you know, and show up for, show for up your on job. Time. Yeah. Okay, pay Not show, no, never showing up on time was never a problem. Okay. But showing up was. When I showed up, I was always early. Because you got to be, it's 15 minutes early, you're on time, you're on time, you're late, and if you're late, then you're fired. All right, thank you, so, Vince Lombardi. Yeah, that, well, that's pretty much what it was. So, um, and I had no idea how to do, like, the the simple shit in life. All right, like, ex- like go to, or... again, like, go to work. Where under, uh, like, in, bathe, interact with bathe. people, do, um, no, doing laundry was never really a problem. Okay. Because um, whenever I, I got a paycheck, I would just buy new clothes. Oh, it, was, it, hey, it, it made sense okay. when when you're drinking. It makes sense. So uh, when I quit drinking, uh, pizza was what, what would you call yourself? Not not so much a mentor, but like a, you were you were like that guy who was ahead of me. You're ahead. Of yes, I was three weeks ahead. of You, you were three like... weeks ahead of me, but you you seem to have gotten some of the stuff down. So um we sh- uh, we didn't share a sponsor in the beginning like no. we went to aa so um we didn't share a sponsor in the beginning but you hung out with my sponsor a lot and so uh we found each we found ourselves in each other's company constantly we liked each other we got along well um cooking and comic books cooking and comic books and boom uh he was i, I moved in with him cool so you're a comic book man as well oh sure so i became nice. Pizza was my roommate. We I, I slept on the couch. Do you remember that first apartment? Holy God. How did you guys um, meet? And through uh, my sponsor, through AA. We okay. Had, yeah. So you were in the program as well? Yes. Okay. So um, who is more messed up? <laughs> yeah, that's... That's like it's an um, ongoing story. That's that's like asking. All right. uh, is it like a flip flop? Like well, on the day? it's like seeing two corpses on the floor and being like, sure, which, which one's, one's more dead? Which one's uh, worse yeah. off? It's like yeah. we're both. They're okay. both dead. So yeah, and um, yeah, it was he was ahead of me and like by no by a matter of months. Right. By like yeah. you were like nine months ahead of me. So yeah. okay, I mean to be a sponsor, you have to be like uh, progressed. <laughs> like yeah, further no pizza than... was never my sponsor i'm not that insane okay uh but my sponsor was uh who ended up being his sponsor uh, eventually but um I'm not gonna name his name is johnny um so do they, do they usually encourage if you're in the program that you, you live together no no okay i, no, I, I figure it's actually a... don't make a well that's no, what that's... i'm thinking so no. did any did you i don't know did 
did anyone discourage this or they're like no no actually everyone's like (laughs) you know what (laughs) you can't make more of a mess out of your life than if you guys are roommates so okay uh, but and we did well you know, we we ended up um, in a deluxe apartment on. Uh, we added to the Prospect. family. Uh, was this local? This was over in uh, Highlands. There was a place called the Loft. Okay. It was in St Andrew's Church, and it was actually literally above the church, um, and people okay. would go they'll, there. They'll get some more, some maybe some message from the Lord. Yes, you know, and, coming yeah, up from the rafters. Probably and not, apartment. but yeah, no, a lot of bad decisions were made in in that place. Oh boy. Um, but we, uh, I mean. There was a, a meeting there every night, and I would hit a, a meeting every, every night. Oh, so you just go right down to the meeting at the church? No, upstairs. It's you, the loft went up, so oh, you go in, you you go upstairs, make coffee, you do all the things, and instead of going to a bar and getting drunk, you go and you make coffee and you clean ashtrays. Cool. That's back when they still had smoking meetings, right? And we had these. Remember those huge smoke eaters? Oh my <laughs> god! And you know you. You'd sit there, you'd listen to people, and um, sometimes you'd make fun of them. Sometimes you wouldn't. You hopefully not. And there were a lot of there was a lot of like old timey sobriety there, so that was actually really cool. Uh, and what um what year are we talking here? Nineteen ninety seven. Okay, it's so not. I mean, twenty twenty three years. Twenty three years ago. Yeah. Okay, right on. So and um, you know we. Uh, we we lived we moved there then we moved up to yeah I got a girlfriend uh, and yeah. her kid and a dog yeah that was that was a genius move on uh, his girlfriend's part who was um, not like she was she didn't like me at all not no, no you're not even wrong. not even a little bit um, and she's like I'm giving him a dog for his birthday she told me like the day before she gave it to him like what. Because we were in like a, a one bedroom one, apartment, one bedroom I was part with I was, five people. Yeah, I was sleeping uh, on a couch, and we're like, we gotta move. So within like three, well, that need the letter that stated, "You guys are squatters. You have to move." No, it, they it was, ended up paying us to move out. That was people, nice because they wanted the realtor wanted to sell the house, so they said, "Okay, we'll give you three months rent." Um, wow, so you had check. a little bankroll then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So we, we were, were able like to, this. you know, do a little. And then we moved to Portland Road, where Whitney Houston supposedly lived at the top of the hill. In Highlands? In Highlands, yeah. Whitney Houston? The yeah. Whitney Houston? Yeah, I don't Whitney think it was Houston. true. But, but I, I want to dance with somebody. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney Houston, Houston, yeah. National Anthem, Whitney Houston? Yeah. This is before or after, um, like, the bodyguard? <laughs> uh, this was 97, so it would be after. Okay. This was after. I uh, wonder yeah. why Jersey. Uh, because she's got roots in Jersey. Dion Warwick is from Jersey. Yeah, she's from yeah. the Oranges or something. Yeah, like Psychic Friends Networks. Dion Warwick. Yes. Wow. That's what friends are for. That's okay. what psychic friends are for. Right. So you guys move in together. Uh, yeah, we've and, we, and um, I started dating Jules. Okay. And um, his girlfriend still hated me. They had their own bedroom. They they put the the her poor son out on the porch. Yeah. We gave him the porch. It's not even a bedroom, but we we made it into a bedroom. Wait, 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 back up. Your girlfriend's son yeah. lived with you guys? Yep. Yeah. During the week. And then weekends. Yeah, and weekends he spent, spent with his dad. So he's turned out okay. Okay. And your he's girlfriend. Good, Michael, so wait, I was th- like Michael. Your girlfriend lived with you too? Yes. So she was a, so again, it was five people in the same place again. Yeah, but the we had, it was bigger. Yeah, two bedrooms. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we had a kitchen. We had, you know. <laughs> Okay, um, and, and I guess presumably you all kind of liked each other, although she didn't like you. She hated my guts. I Why did really, she hate you? Um isn't there a phone bill or something? No, that was later on. That was after I, I moved out. No, she was. She thought that she. Uh, I I don't know. It's uh, it was a the weird situation. The dog hated everyone. The dog and the dog. The dog would. The dog's name was Slappy, and the <laughs> Slappy. dog was not well okay. trained, and it would bite anyone that walked in the door. Except me. Except for him. Okay. And I'm I'm a an animal person, sure. and dogs love me except for this one. Sure, you've got like and, eight of them. Yeah, so I know. Yeah. So I'm like, why is like you know? One time I had to like body slam him to keep him from like tearing out my throat. Okay. And I'm like, slap, he cut it out. He's like, right, self I'm defense, like, not animal cruelty. Exactly. I, I was not. I I didn't hurt him. Right. I just had to like keep him down. Sure. Sure. And um, so when I I would have Jules over, date nights were pro- problematic at that point with the dog. And uh, didn't the dog jump through a window? Yeah. yeah dog, yeah, yeah, broke through a window. Um, he put his face through a little tiny panel on a door because the 
neighbor, we shared a door, and he would come in and I think stand there and taunt the dog. Uh, so the dog just put his head face right through this. <laughs> so you had Cujo for a pet. Yeah, uh, I didn't. Smaller. <laughs> well, he ate all your... my books, ate all my shoes, ate a bag of chicken wing bones and a bottle of aspirin in the same okay. day. Yeah, that was, that was that was a memorable day. So um, uh, I ended up moving in with Jules and we were planning on getting married and I moved out and but we kept in touch yep. and, you know, with cooking and comics, I mean, it's a lifelong bond. I so. would get your job after you you were done with it. Right? Yes, after I, I got was the Fort Mama's <laughs> job, I, I <laughs> got that, and then I got the Pat's Market job. Uh, yeah, he was taking my leftovers. Oh, um, so you were giving a good reference, obviously. Oh, of course. Okay. Um, it's like, hey, I know. See, I'm leaving, but I know a guy. Yeah, who's just as good as I am, or well, almost as good as I am, or better, or you know, better, and he, yeah. would, he would come in. They and, loved me at Pat's. They paid me well. Yeah, they did. They Barry did. You know, Bar how, well, Barry loved. So, me. how long was this before you moved out? Uh, that you lived together. Two years. We were, yeah, you know, we were it's a good run. Yeah. I've never had a roommate that I got along with for more than like I, an hour. I can't imagine. Yeah. I've been on, you know, we've traveled, uh, you know, you, um, thank God we get separate you, rooms. You get set in your ways and you have <laughs> but, your own. But I can't, no, I can't yeah. imagine being in the same living nah. space as you. Am for... I that bad, Daniel? Mm. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's used to it. Yeah, he, exactly. He grew up with it. You, so. you, you've got no frame of reference, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. In comics, when we first became friends, that was when the Amalgam series came out. Yes, Super Soldier. Ever. And yeah, that was the worst thing ever. Mm, well, now it goes for bucks. So. Does it really? Like yeah. the Batman, Captain yeah. America? No, no, that was it was Superman, Captain America, now, and Batman and Wolverine, Dark Claw. Yeah, so that one goes for like twenty bucks. So I if had you got all those that I bought at Katz's. Yeah, yeah. We used to go down and. and <laughs> in the bathroom, there was like a pile of comics on the the toilet. Sure, uh, why wouldn't there be? It's great reading. You can get course. through in, in one session. Yeah, you get through a book for yeah. sure. So we were not the we would. Um, the one good thing about Angela was that she would clean. Yes, that was the, that was that's her girlfriend. That yeah, was, yeah. It was okay. Angela. Would she grumble? I should clean a freaking zapstick. No, I didn't, I didn't cook there. Oh, you I, didn't? I didn't cook there. It was all him, <laughs> and the sink would be filled and there would be not flies but there'd be like raccoons going over there going you got anything good in there yeah so what what's what was mike like as a roommate good he was the he was the cleaner neater one and i was oscar madison you know but that's the way life goes yeah you need an oscar you need a felix right i feel like so you were still working in the service industry i, I imagine you weren't even home a lot no neither one of us were because okay. um you were waiting tables waiting tables and working at seabright pizza yeah and working and at fratello's Tell them, tell everyone about how Happy Elvis. Yeah, that was 95, 96. Happy Elvis Pizza? Happy, Happy Elvis, Elvis Pizza. The king of pizza satisfaction. <laughs> okay. That was just so that the guy who owned the pizzeria, my partner, so he would never be involved and never step anywhere near it. I said, let's call it um, Happy Elvis Pizza. Right. Because I wanted to call it Fuck You Pizza because I thought that would really keep him away. Um, <laughs> it but, would, but even now in 2020, I don't think that name would fly. No, but well, you never know. It'd be on F U pizza might have yeah. uh, might have flown. And we did a little Cajun Italian mix, you know, because nice. I'd worked at all the pizzerias and they're all kind of interchangeable. The same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh the things I liked was uh, I had a good dough, and when people would call up and order when they were done, I'd say, um, thank you very much for ordering. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I always thought that was very funny, and it was Elvisy, but no one ever got it. So uh, that's their loss. That's their loss. Yeah. So uh, and it did. You guys are so roommate was good experience then. Excellent. Yeah, because we kept did, in touch. You know. Yeah, I mean, during though, like, did you did you have any ever have any blowouts? No. Never. No, none to speak of. No. Never. I was like, dude, no. the dishes have been here for five days. Like, what? What? <laughs> the I, and then I'm like, then wash them because they're yours. Right. Or I guess his girlfriend <laughs> would take care of it though. It sounds uh, like eventually, yes. Yeah. And she would grumble. Yeah, and she'd be very depressed. And play heavy metal music in a dark room with her head hanging down yeah and i would burst in and go what oh, are yeah, you three, doing three well four four people and a dog yeah yeah, uh, yeah. i i mean it's, i'm amazed that you guys got along as well as you did she accused me of loving the dog more than i loved her which was true sure, which yeah. is probably true i said the dog never gives me really any grief yeah you know? um, and but she said the dog doesn't clean up after you and it was like well then we get along well anyway i mean it's fine sloppy bit everyone though he really he liked me right. and he didn't like to me to be around anyone so 
So right he on. luckily got out, you know, before. Yeah, so two years, and you're like, all right, I, uh, I've met the woman of my dreams. We're going to move in yeah. together. I had actually dated a girl before that, uh, and <laughs> she was not a hit with my friends either, but uh, another uh, woman in, and uh, I would spend a lot of time over there just because uh, Angela was moving in on like like putting up curtains and throw pillows and stuff. Oh, she started. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> start taking, taking over. over. And okay. I just had I had my room in the house, and it was like the small bedroom, and it was like that's fine, just don't go in there. Right. And I don't think she did. So. Right. I did. You have the uh, the the sign on the door is like no girls allowed. Do like, not uh, enter. No, 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 no. Um, and this this means you. And <laughs> I, I would, the the woman. I, yeah, exactly. The, the little radiate skull and crossbones yes. on there. Um, no, but the woman I was dating at the time, we were. Uh, she was also uh, a little bit older than me. Had a, a son. I was like, oh, this is gonna be weird. Sure. So. Um, that lasted, oh my God, I can't believe that that lasted like nine months. That was weird. I got the surprise party out of it. So you did. You got a, We had a surprise party over to For your for birthday? Me, my birthday. Yeah. What uh, set it up? What, um, what, how did, did you wait for him to come back from work? Like, uh, no, that, uh, he, he was off that day. So, okay. Um, how'd you like trick him into, well, how, we what was gonna, the setup? I think we were supposed to double date. No, we were going out to dinner with Johnny Farrell. Oh, that's right. And he's driving around because they're getting messages that the people aren't at the house yet. And it was my all my family. My girlfriend invited all my family, and they all came down. Um, have you ever had a surprise birthday party, by the way? I've I've thrown them. I don't think oh, I've had gotta, one myself. You, you I don't it. think anyone's ever thrown one for me. It's uh, I mean, I'm tough to pin down. It's like, hey, meet me here. At you got to put it out like, there because oh, yeah. it's a life affirming experience. Um, um, how so? Did you get in there and like surprise, like surprise? Well, and you're like, wow, these people. They were me. driving down the street because we were going to pick him up. Sure. And we were going to go to dinner, and then he said, "Wait a minute!" And he keeps driving because my mom's coming in on the side street and walking across the street, and he don't want. Oh, to so see he's him. like, ah! and I'm like, like trying to avoid I'm like, Where all the, the hell people. Are you going? Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, We just passed the house. So you thought something was up. And I got there, and then I was very surprised. You're like, old man, come on! What the hell's wrong with you? And then I was completely surprised, and I had clucky chicken wings, so I was perfectly happy. Oh yeah, I mean, what, what else? What else do you need? Not I, much. Yeah, uh, shout out to Cluck you, our friend Cluck you, Billy. Who, I used to uh, order from wing. them every night when I worked at the Fromagerie. When I would get home from the bar at night, that's pretty cool. The Fromagerie, you know, pretty when it was running. It might be back again. I can't remember, but um, someone has it. That uh, uh yeah, is it that, David Burke still, or is he? No, done? he he, okay. he lost out of. Ago. Wow, so that's a pretty uh one um one of the best restaurants in town, one of the most most expensive. So you went from that to like three dollar, like a dozen chicken wings from Cluck You. Yes, yeah. And I would always tell him I would order the number six special, which came with a side and a soda. Sure. And so forget about the soda because that time of night I wasn't drinking soda. Right. Now he's drinking bourbon. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, it's a good mixer. And it was down the one that one there because I live down the street here. At one of Leon Smock's house, oh, lovely. which is another common bond we had. Yeah, we we both lived in a flop house for Leon Smock when we were drinking. So that was yeah, it was it's weird the coincidences you, sure. you find. Well, you're in the same area, so I guess yeah. you kind of uh, wind up in some of the this same. This was places. a guy who had five houses with like ten rooms in each. Sure, or, and he rented for a hundred dollars a week. Right to um, anybody. Oh, yeah. yeah, anybody, especially <laughs> crackheads. Right, a lot of crackheads in there. There was one guy who who lived in that house. Um, and he got busted. And you ever see the uh, the police blotters like they have? In, sure, I love reading the police yeah, blotters. Police blotter. This one was like four columns of just this one guy's uh, transgressions. Wow. Yeah, he stole a car, hopped up on crack. Okay. Um, broke into the place that he was working, stole booze and money. Right. Um. Drove the car. Had a hell of a night, man. Oh my god, he drove the car uh, down. I, I forget one of the the side streets in Rumson. Sure. Uh, drove over somebody's lawn, and okay. the cops are watching him do this. Drove over their what are they lawn. Waiting for? I don't. I have no clue. But then they were probably <laughs> like, for? "Hold on, this is." I, I, hey, was this Patrick? No, 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 no. He had, a, a, he had a four four column. Was, uh, yeah, there right. was there was a guy who we knew that had four column arrest. Uh, police violence. No, this wow. guy was. Uh, he worked at um, the old Union House. Oh. You probably know him. You, yeah, I'm you, sure, you yeah. ran afoul. So, I mean, the the, the restaurant industry is kind of small, sure. and incestuous. So, yeah. All right, right on. So you move out. You're uh, you're you're making your way. Yeah. You're uh, you 
learning you're, you're you're becoming an adult yeah at this i know point. well that's that's the whole thing is you have to learn to grow up sure. that's i mean that's where we split paths yeah <laughs> one thing that aa uh doesn't teach you but you you learn through trial and error right. is you got to learn to grow the okay. fuck up okay. so that's what it was just growing up and okay. um you know it, it was weird because you know you you can't save somebody else you have to they have to walk their own path sure. and pizza was walking his path so yeah. Uh, well, you kept in touch. I don't know that you guys hang out every so often. Yeah. Or, okay, oh, yeah. Right on. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, hey, hey, sucks. And I mean, we would go to meetings and just hang out, go to dinner. Yeah. That was, that was even more important. Like, hey, you want to meet me at Cluck You at, yeah. <laughs> at 3 a.m.? <laughs> I'll meet you in the parking lot. Yeah. Get a number seven. No soda. Right. Um. So, and you guys were going to Comic Cons? We actually went to Chiller. Chiller Theater. Oh, this was oh my god. Okay. So Shout out set to us up, Pizza, because this one was the, I, uh, this is you. There's nothing like going to Chiller with like a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a lot now of money. Where do you get that money, Pizza? Yeah. I was working at the Fort Monmouth. I Michael was leaving. I uh, yeah, I was uh it was a part-time gig. I was yeah, um, so uh right not even a mile from here, quarter mile even. Yep. There, there's this huge fort called Fort Monmouth, uh recently decommissioned, so you can drive through there and they're they're developing it and they need a podcast studio in there. They do. But um I uh, but while it was operational, I guess you had to you could there get jobs there cooking for the military. There, well, there or? was a PX and there was a grocery store. Okay. So it was uh, the grocery store, uh a friend of ours, as a matter of fact, our sponsor's daughter was managing the deli section okay which is the deli and the bakery and uh, so you had an in well she asked me she's like listen because uh i was getting out of the restaurant business i was going back to school yep. when i was going uh to brookdale and i was taking classes i was uh and i've never aside from like when i was like oh, i'm too drunk to go into work uh, i never didn't work right so um I'm going to school. I've got a part-time job at J and Bob's. Right. So this is like 2000, 2001. Okay. So you, you had started, uh, yeah. you were in the Viewskew family. Yeah. Okay. And, um, I was working part-time at the fort and what happened? Oh, uh, I, 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 I left there because, uh, Walt offered me more hours yeah. and I was leaving because I couldn't juggle like four things at one time. Okay. And, you know, I said, why don't you, I said to, I to Char our, shout out to Charlene, yep. um, said to Charlene, why don't you, why don't you offer a pizza job? He'd be perfect yep. for this. He's, he's personable. He can do this. And so she did. Yeah, and it paid well. Yeah. He didn't scratch his ass and put it on the food. Like not that you know of anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I've never like, seen it. So. We, he doesn't let the customers see it. It's like, yeah, okay, good enough. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> and then uh, I worked there, and then I left there because I didn't like some of the things that were going on. There was a cast of characters. <laughs> I and, can uh, imagine. Yes. Oh, my God. And then I started working at McDonald's because I'd never worked at McDonald's, and I was living down the street from one, and I said, I'd like to try this. And <laughs> it's, really, you just woke up one day. I was like, yeah, yeah, because yeah, just... someone said, don't leave your job unless you have another one. So I said, I have another job. And, <laughs> right, and they'll hire anybody. And it's really terrible to work there. The only good oh, thing was... It's... It's corporate. I would take a piece of cheese, okay. and a burger, and I'd hit it with a Big Mac gun, and I'd just eat it while I was working. And I never eat chicken nuggets in the <laughs> right. And the manager so no, said, "So me, no bun, no, no bun, no, no, no." Just that's why you had the plastic. Very bun. um, what's that? What's that freaking that? That's very Atkins. You were Atkins. Yes, sorry. it was keto. It was keto. Uh, yeah, you were doing keto at McDonald's with. The... And I would eat. I would pick at the chicken nuggets, you know, because they have a whole bunch of chicken nuggets there. And the guy said, he said, "You know, you can't do that while you work here." And I said. I don't care so much about the job. <laughs> I said, I'm going to keep doing it. Right. I said, you want to fire me? That's fine. You know, that's a... And then I got paid from there and there was no money. So I said, you know, what can I do for money? And uh, I was always a fan of Bonnie and Clyde when I was a kid. I love that movie. Sure. Who was in that movie? I've, uh, oh, Warren, there was Warren, Warren Beatty, Beatty and, and Faye Dunaway. Okay, I've never seen it. I know Michael, it's, uh, Quinn, it's Michael movie, J. Though. Pollock. It's Michael J. Pollock. Um, mm -hmm. And I, in fact, I wanted to become uh, Bonnie Gloger to become my girlfriend because I wanted a girlfriend named Bonnie. Sure. This is third or fourth grade. Um, it, so it started early. It started early, okay. yeah. Um, and, uh, and then I start reading in the New York Post about this woman who was robbing banks to pay for her cat's operation. And okay. She, and she did it, and then she said, well, this is really easy. The only thing is she was living in brooklyn and she was robbing stuff on her block so they were kind of easy for them to tell them where it was all right you don't know yeah you don't shit where you eat so i go but, i said well let me try yeah, this you know this seems pretty easy it's, 
I'm skull wait, woman. Let me, wait, hold up. Back up. Let me try robbing banks. Yeah. Okay. And it's so, a, all right. Let me let me let me go back to the timeline here. So you're eight, seven, eight years old. You see Bonnie and Clyde. Yes. You're like, wow, that looks like fun. I always wanted to be three things: Bonnie and Clyde, Houdini, or Evil Knievel. Don't they die at the end? Always. Uh, and the movie, I've never seen the movie. Yes, they do. They yeah, get, oh, yeah. They, like oh, they, 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 their 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 car gets bullet riddled. Oh, right? yeah. oh, of course. And that that wasn't enough to deter you. Was like you, that it, they glamorized it? I imagine. I robbing. No, that. You don't. You got to understand uh, an alcoholic's mindset. Sure. <laughs> it's like. You know what? I'm I like the parts that I like, and I'm gonna discard the rest and okay. just conveniently forget right. them. But you were recovering at this point. No, no, you were an alcoholic. <laughs> okay, you were <laughs> drinking still. Okay, I don't think I was drinking, but there might have been something involved. Um, okay, and my friend okay. Johnny said to me, he said the three words. He said, "You'll never go hungry. You remember these, and it was stick them up." So he, I he meant he meant it as a joke. <laughs> Sure. But he took it as he's like, you know what? That's that's those are words to live by. Holy crap! I okay. took a train into Manhattan and I walked around, and then I went to a, a I went to a bank and I got a deposit slip and I wrote something on the back of it because probably twenty years earlier, because this was a prank that you would do is you would go into a bank okay. and you would write on the back of it, "This is a stick up. <laughs> Don't say anything. Give me all your money," and put it back on the pile. Oh, so someone, whoever someone, the next person yeah, would yeah, like, yeah, would, would, and then they would get taken down by the security guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they trip a silent <laughs> alarm. That's not very funny. Eh, when I mean, you're when you're 20 years old, it's funny. Did you stick around to wa to wait? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have oh, you'd be God, a little distance away. But... Evil, but uh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't have internet back then, so you, you had to, you had other things for entertainment. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I never did that, although so it's it seems in, weird, but in yeah. Pennsylvania, we did yeah, right. So but all right, so, I mean, I know Bonnie and Clyde was an inspiration, but did and it, like did you just wake up one day? And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I gotta do this. Yeah, I gotta try this because it seems like it, it was going on. It was, it was. Going was there on. anything that triggered this though? Was it the the, the McDonald's job drive you to this? No, no, and, no. Or just, did you? Were you late on rent? No, no. I just said, you know what? I said this is uh, something I could probably get away with because who knows me? You know, there's a, a lot of other things. But I like I. I don't. I, I the night before I'd be like I, I'm gonna do, it. and then the morning, you know, after a good night's sleep, I was like, "This is a dumb idea." My, they, my how'd old, you psych yourself up? My old boss Barry said he said when I told him about it because I told two people. I told him you I, told people you're gonna rob banks. No, no, I told him that I was robbing banks. Um, and I told one, and the one guy said because I owed him money, and I said, "Here, here's your you know thousand dollars that I owe right. you." And he said, and I said, "He's where'd you get this?" And I said, "Oh, I've been robbing banks." And they're like, <laughs> "Very." And he, and he said, "No, no, no." He knew, he kind of knew me, and he said, "Wow," he says, "That takes a lot of balls." Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this was what year was this? Two thousand four. Fairly recent then. Two thousand four. Yeah, sixteen years ago. Yeah. Wow. I, did you besides like a fictional, uh, you know, Warren Beatty and and what Faye Dunaway? Yeah. And the cat you, lady and the cat lady from the New York Post who had robbed. So she was your friends. inspiration. Well, I said, well, if she can do it. I mean, I could do that. Like you didn't know any fellow people would be like, hey, man, do this. Like, don't do this. I knew someone who had done it before, and he explained it all to me. After the first, did one he did. get caught? No, no, he never got caught. No, okay. And he did it, and uh, I forget what the manner was, and it was somewhere around here. And uh, and he said, "You'll never be able to stop doing it." He says, "Because the adrenaline is something that you will chase." And right. I said, "And this was as I'm riding home oh, on the train." Wow. And I said, "I said, I said, no, I said, I, I, I said, I, I don't know if I could not do it again." Um, and but I, I go into a bank, and the first bank I go into, I write this little thing out. And this and was in I'm, Manhattan, you said? Yeah, midtown the, Manhattan. And I, a Friday afternoon. Like, was this like Home Alone? Did you write out a, like a whole plan? It's like, okay, no, like 1024, no, 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 I go no. in 1025, I'll give them the note. I no, I'll no. Give money. Like, this is my escape room. I go How in much and fill out a slip. Out? Okay. And, and then I go, and there's like four people waiting on the line. Right. So I, I get behind them, and then other people come in on the line. And as I'm looking at it, I look behind me, and there's a cop waiting on the line. And I, and I, I remember because I picked up my phone and yeah. I said, I said, oh, this, and I uh, pretended like I'm trying to get a signal, and then I walked out and I left that place because I hadn't done it. Okay, you cut bait. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is too. Rude. And I, I went know. to a bank around the corner, and <laughs> I was waiting on line. The only so you were hell bent on robbing a bank that day. Yeah, I mean, you're in the city. You paid for the fare already. You know, <laughs> it it'd be a waste not to. Sure. And I go into a a bank and I I wait. Do you on remember line. which bank? Is oh it? yeah, 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 yeah. It was a. I was one I pled guilty to. So yes, Commerce Bank, and because uh, they're very, very friendly and very open. That was their thing. Commerce Bank, okay, which is still around, I think. No, no they're, they're not around. TD. They're... Oh, oh, okay. Were they were they absorbed by TD? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, they're like, screw this. They're idiots robbing us left blind, left and right. <laughs> well, and we then don't do this there anymore. was later, there's a story in the Times sure. about the whole sure. thing. Well, let's stick to this one. So you go to the Commerce Bank. And I'm waiting online. And I remember because my phone went off and it was my, it was the SpongeBob. Uh, was the ringtone right so i'm like oh someone's gonna remember that or that's they're gonna pay attention to that okay. but i said ah what the hell you know and i i go hand the lady to slip and okay her eyes bug out you right. know and then she gives me money where how were you dressed were you windbreaker baseball hat and jeans okay but no ever to disguise your face no, because no. who would know my face? You know, I mean, a security. And camera, you, ever, you ever seen the cameras? This is 2004. So this is 2004. Yeah, they have with, cameras. They're not the, as the cameras are terrible. Yeah, except in a couple of commerce banks. Um, <laughs> They've gone HD. You know, and I'm laughing because because the, the woman's you know I'm, I'm just smiling because it's just kind of ludicrous that I'm doing this and and I get this what's pile of money. <laughs> so I mean, you're in, so what's going through your head right now? Are I'm you, getting money. I'm gonna put my head down and walk out the door. Right, but I mean, and then I'm gonna be a mix of what nerves. Nerves. And the only thing I wanted was and oh, you had to be scared too. Ex like excitement beyond belief. Okay, and there were no security guards in this place. I imagine you did. There some might have been recon. someone standing around, but they're okay. usually not armed or anything and like that because they don't want that. What did the note say exactly? Do you remember? Or just vaguely, I changed ballpark? it. It was uh, have a oh, robbery, have gun, uh, no dies, no violence. And then I you read it. That's not as barely English. Yeah, that is. Oh, you'd be surprised. I saw when they finally arrested me, they had a, a wall in the major case squad downtown of all the notes. Sure. That had been passed through the years. And some of them are really funny. Like, uh, you know, I have a vial full of this poison. And if you don't, I'm going right. to do with my butt. I have a gub. But you're yeah. just a gun. Uh, have no, gun. No uh, die. No <laughs> dies. No violence. Okay. And, and it's, it's, I figured that's simple enough. You know? Sure. No, it, when he no dies, like the die packs. That's what oh, he's saying. Oh, okay, okay, not, okay. Not okay. No, you're like, well, I'm not going to kill anybody. You know dies. Yeah, then no. I started putting money amounts on them later. But the funny one was when I gave it to the one lady, and she says, I don't understand. I said, what's... And this was one of the pictures that they got me. I said, what's to understand? It's in big letters. Sure, I but said, the f this first one, they they understood. Sure, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. She and, bugged out. And, and so I guess she's entering her drawer and just... Well, no, she pick, you, she or? gives me a, a stacks of 50s. Um, okay, did you bring a bag with you? No, uh, no, 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 no. And as I'm walking out the so door, you, because I know the, the dies go off when you when sure, you leave. Sure. And um, so I I'm I stick one down here, I stick one down here. Oh, you didn't even have a bag. No, 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 no. You didn't even bring a bag. Then I gotta have a bag. Then I gotta leave a bag somewhere. Then I gotta sure, yeah. but all right. <laughs> it's not they don't give you a big pile were of money you, like that. Were you drunk when you did this? Or no, you, no, no, no. Okay, no. you were stone sober. Stone, when you did stone this. sober, yeah. Okay, but no bag. No bag. No, you, you can't bring anything along. That's the more identifiable things you have, and the more stuff that you have, the more you're gonna get caught. So you something. did do some thinking. Well, I know. I think about this. I think about. Uh, it's not. It wasn't my first crime that I had ever committed. Sure, but this is a major. This is different, this, though. This is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, was your this your first robbery of any sort? Sort of, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I imagine. Maybe Depends on yeah. Or robbery is a yeah. That's a uh, sure dealers that you may have like you know skimmed off of or uh, no. I, I I stole you know. But, or, or your jobs, yeah. Uh, the the restaurant jobs. Restaurant you... jobs are oh, that, there was one the feathered frog where I found out you could void things off a of check. Oh sure, okay. And it never came up on a report. Um, okay, but small time stuff. Yes. Not like yeah. this. This is not a... like this. Well, this is yeah. This is more of an attention. You know, you're gonna get holy crap. Okay, so you're you got stack. She gives you stacks of fifties. I got a stack like that. A right. stack of one stack of fifties. No, 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 stacks of fifties. Um, okay, how many and, stacks? Approximate. Uh, you never say how much because then that can come back on you that um, we did this or we we didn't. Try oh, even now you can. I wouldn't. You know, you okay, don't say how many my, you did. All right, because that was my next. That was my next question. Like, how much did you <laughs> did they give you? But you can't say thousands usually. Okay, four fig or four figures. Yeah, a yeah, good yeah, chunk. yeah, 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 yeah. Except for one time, but that was uh, okay. But this time you were pretty. You were happy with the score. Happy. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, I didn't really do much, and I did, and I had a Wells Far or a, a, commerce. a commerce account, and I didn't have any money in it. And I was like, "Well, this is great because now I, you know, I, I did you deposit it back? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're stacks where you're stuffing it down your pants. Yeah, in my pants, the front, because I figure if one of these blows up, I don't want to lose everything. Right, and you just get, my junk, and you yeah, get just, and you get out of there. Yes, and no one. That's by the way. That's why you don't have a bag, because if they put it in point. the bag, you can't see. Good point. So now, I, 
But you stuffing fifties on your pants is yeah, also yeah, yeah, suspect, yeah. but less suspect. Well, I'm just walking and I'm, I got okay. my head, and then as soon as I get out the door, I'm going to run to wherever the subway thing is. You know, take a subway to Penn Station and then take right. My train and it home. was you did it all silently, so nobody suspected anything. No, you looked yeah, like yeah. you're making a withdrawal. Yeah, which yeah. we were kind of. Yeah. Like, <laughs> So, he just didn't have the money to match the sure, funds yeah. that he was getting. Okay, so in and out, how much How much time approximately? Oh, I like if I wait online for three minutes and then, but the, even then, most times I didn't wait online. You know, you sure. just go right up to the window. And, um, okay, so we're talking about 10 minutes max? No, oh, not, in even, and out? not, yeah, even, not even that. Okay, no, it's quick. Uh, under, under five minutes. And so. you ran to the subway after this? I get out, I, I run, Holy I run crap. across the street, and then I see a subway thing, and then I go in and I forget that they don't have they don't take money. They do all the, the cards. It was the, the cards tokens. in 2004. Yeah. 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 So I had to, I had to spend, I had to stop and go, oh shit. And I got to go buy it. You bought buy a, a Metro card with a, a my... with a $50 bill. Yeah, and like, yeah. we don't and then I got it. on the subway actually and just took it like four or five stops, got out, took a cab to Penn station. Okay. So you, uh, kind of covering your tracks. Yeah. 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 Just trying to circle in. And then, uh, the only thing is you're now, Wired. Right, right, right. What what was going through your head through this whole thing? Were you looking? Well, I would be looking uh, 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 over my shoulder. You're looking around. Me? Did you know? Did anybody see me? But then you're in Penn Station, and sure, and you so see the people. the soldiers with the dogs and the rifles. Right. Then. This is post nine eleven. Yeah, so. yeah. So this makes you a little uh, paranoid. Yeah, but I, at what point were you like, wow? I think I did the. Like, oh, the well, I pretty much as soon as I got on the train. Or knew where the train was, you know, <laughs> or or stuffing fifties down his yeah, pants, right? You know, and that was really cool because then I threw it all in the bed when I got home, you know, because it was just there. Because you always want to do that when you have you know large amounts of money. Wow! So it was. I mean, it sounds like it was pretty easy. It was really easy. It was really, it was really easy. And let's let's well, put this. There's there's a there's an end to the story. Let's that let's sure. put let's put sure, this sure. out there right okay, now. Right. That we're we're not condoning this. well no keep, keep you're like that seems pretty easy no, so keep, keep listening. we're gonna be yeah keep listening um i used it, to tell people doesn't... in prison they'd say that sounds really well, easy yeah. <laughs> and i said i said that's the problem of the story so, <laughs> yeah for prison somebody was like Lots of spoiler alert easy. <laughs> but um they'd say and i'd say yeah you should try it it is really easy i said the only thing is i'm white and i get away with things like that because i said you won't and yeah and here's the the um the thing we it was um Chiller Theater. Was it yep. April or October? I forget which one. Um, yeah, what, what time of year was this when this you was spring, pulled your first spring job? Time. Spring okay, time. So, so like April, March? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So April rolls around and we're going to Chiller okay. and he pulls out a wad of cash. I'm like, oh, that's a that's a pretty hefty wad. I'm like, where'd you get it? He's like, a oh, Robin Banks. And so you openly just told people. No, no, no. The very, very few died. There are two people actually died. So three people. And I was like, okay, but why? Two what, of them are dead, so I'm good. Um, what compelled you to tell them though? Did you just want to brag about it? Or? Um, when I was talking to them about just, well, no, because I there were a few people that I shared things like that with. Sure, but I that's that's how you get caught though. Is you, you start. That's you how loose, you get caught if you tell people that you don't know. Who, who talked? Loose lips sink ships. Like I could keep go on and on. Where you like don't. the one guy <laughs> I told, um, he wouldn't say anything because he was involved in. Whatever he was involved with, you know? <laughs> all right, some sort of I, I had a lot, but also some sort of criminal enterprise, something like that. Okay. You could have you could have rolled over on him. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what, you said you got the money, you threw it in your bed, and you just kind of yeah. And then I did drugs for a while. Sure, you know? but so you have all that fifties, yeah, on your bed, a whole bunch of. And them. then I say, you know, and then I can do whatever I want. I don't have to go to work, and I can pay my bills. Sure, I imagine you told your girlfriend. No, I didn't know girlfriend at the time. No girlfriend. Okay. No, no, they had. Um, Angela was gone by that time. Okay. She was. Two did, did that have anything to do with the, you being like, screw it, I'm going to go rob a bank? No, I just were... always wanted to rob a bank. Holy crap. And then, okay. so so we go to. Um... I I also have backup. You, you're, you're a fan of comic books, yes. lifelong, you and Mike. Um, did you not learn anything from reading, you know, Truth, Justice, American when Way? When I was a kid, I wanted, to, pay. I wanted to be the Viper. Okay. Because he was the lowest level of like skill. Like he fought Captain America and he might have even been Nomad when he was Nomad. And yeah. he threw darts, like poison darts. Now, right. he was built and all that. But right. uh, I said, I could do that. I, I thought maybe Pucker Stiltman would have been a better role no, model no. For, as far as most useless. <laughs> useless and uh, stuff. yeah, that was a, uh, it was, it was just sort of a, a, it's exciting when you're in the middle of it. Right. Um, and I'm thinking what harm can come of this. And I'm making a lot of money in two weeks okay. later. And, and so you. And you live in New Jersey. You, you pulled this crime in New York because yeah. it wasn't near New Jersey. He would commute. Yeah. 
And so it would be hard. No, to because make... everybody was doing it in New York. That was a time when when they were at a really. Yes, high there level. was. Huh? There's a yeah. big. There were a bunch of a year, and then later on, there was an article in the Times about Commerce Bank and all the trouble they were. They were on TV talking about me. There, you know. Was... Well, yeah. The next day, did you did you start watching the news? I was a and little were bit. You, did you grab a paper and I be like, the... "Hey, did any like did anybody say anything about this?" I read did... the Post and the news every day. Then, anyways, that right? Was and was there any mention time. of? Not this. until the end. <laughs> okay, so there's no mention of you pulling off this uh, no. this heist anywhere. No nope. mastermind. Wow. Because there's probably a dozen or twenty happening in a day. It's a lot. So okay. And then I two weeks later I run out of money. I go do it again. It took two weeks. Wow. All right. So I met. So you went on a spending spree. Yeah. Got all this money. Well, yeah. Well, one and one of the times I went to Chiller and it was. I'll tell you what. It's it's Chiller with an open checkbook. Sure. Then sure. that's when you went with Mike. Yeah. We okay. went and um, pulls out a wire. Yep. I'm like, holy sh! And it was like, yeah. And, and when he said, uh, you know, Robin Banks, I'm like, I don't know if he's not telling me the truth. I'm like, really? Okay. And I let the the matter lie. And we were, I'm like, you know, you gotta, you can't leave fingerprints. I, I said, fill your fingers fingertips with Elmer's glue sure. when you do that, so you'll be good. <laughs> and yeah, I did that. I, I I took that advice. You know. But I was. What, I, but, what, what what was going through your head? He's like, I robbed. Ba I robbed a bank. I'm like, no. And then I'm like, it's Pizza John, right. and I I Maybe. know him fairly <laughs> well. And I'm like, after after a while, after I gave him that advice, I'm like, I think he's fucking robbing banks. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. And I told my wife, who would never drop. Did you buy him, him anything? You know, you... no. He bought uh, Mitch, uh, my my oldest son. Mm -hmm. He he got him a Charles Manson doll. Okay. Burn, little sure. huggy, you know, sure. you're gonna hug, and uh, I'm like, that's really nice. And, <laughs> so, uh, what are, like you get a chiller, un unlimited checkbook. I didn't what have is... to decide between Adam West and Frank Gorshin. I got Adam West, Frank. So you're Gorshin. buying autographs. Yes, uh, Catwoman, Julie Newmar. Yes, Julie Newmar. Uh, you bought the whole Batman cast. You got yeah, that yeah, pretty much. You were there for Batman, and you were just like Soupy Sales. I got. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> you, and not nothing stupid sales. Yeah, Soupy was spend on, money to get a Soupy sales Soupy autograph. Was, it was so sad. He was on the third floor by himself. Sure. In a room with uh, <laughs> you, you should have just mailed him a five dollar bill. What the hell? Wasn't that that was him, right? <laughs> yeah, that was that him. told kids to mail him five dollar yeah, bills and they go did. in your parents. Get the and, green paper out of your parents' yeah. wallet. Oh my god. So you're having a good old time for yeah, two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go and I do it again, you know, and then well, what the money runs out, you're down to your last I go, fifty dollar bill. I know it, yeah, I know and what. You were like, I'm going to do this again. It was so easy. The last that first time, time I'm in, I go to the one bank, and the woman is completely falling apart when I give her the number. Sure. Is this? Did you go back to New York? Yeah. yeah, this? Oh, okay. yeah. I, mean, I, I, just, I didn't. I stayed in, in Midtown Manhattan. Fridays, you know, 10, 11 o'clock. And I give the woman a note, and she's falling okay. Same apart. mo. Same yeah, no. Oh, it's the same, same, same no hat. Dies. A different hat, you know. Different I'd hat. Wear, okay, change it up. I so. wouldn't. You know what? My baseball thing. I wouldn't wear a Yankee hat. Right. Because I didn't want to bring disgrace to the Yankees. You know. So. They disgrace. I think I actually but, wore a Mets okay. hat one time just to <laughs> just because I thought that'd be great that sure. they pin it on a Mets fan. Um, okay. I give the lady the note, and yeah. um, and she's falling apart. Right. And if she dies. I go to jail for the rest of my life. It's it's that's what they call alphabets. That's where the end of your sentence is life, L I F E. Okay. So I'm so I'm like, and I'm laughing because I'm going, stop shaking. I said, I'm not gonna do anything. Right, just give me the I money. Just, you know, mm. and she gives Are me. Are you like, laughing? I, oh yeah, because I'm laughing like, at her. Well, I didn't want her to like, you know, like die. And I said, you know, I said, relax. I said, I'm not gonna do anything, you know. And I take the money, it's $180. I said, I can't, you know, I didn't come into I didn't come into work for this. So I go and <laughs> I rob punch a the bank clock for this. that I had robbed like a month earlier, or a month and a half earlier. And I the go to rob day, the same day? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I I'm like, <laughs> I got well, I gotta go home. You know, it was, the more the more hours I spend there, the less I make an hour. And I go back to the and well, that you're was, not earning <laughs> anything per se. You're just stealing it. So. Uh, yeah, I paid. So the <laughs> the your uh, your the second job, you, know, you score 180 bucks. First job, I score 100. No, 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 no. I keep doing okay, Where and I keep going every two weeks. But then this week... That was your schedule? You rob a bank every two yeah, weeks? Yeah, and the only problem was I should have thought, because I was doing it on the okay, same day at the same time. You should have thought. That's an understatement. Well, yeah. the, uh But you, you hit two banks in one day? Yes, I, and I went back to one of the ones that I had robbed a month earlier. Right. 
and I, I remember because that was the one that where they had really good pictures. Because I'm laughing because the yeah, woman, but you didn't know at the time. No, no, no. Okay. I saw fuzzy pictures. That, sure, you know, sure. And that was when I gave the woman the note, and she said, "I don't understand." And I said, "What's to understand?" I said, "It's in big letters, you know." And then she goes over and she goes to this other drawer, and I'm like, "Oh, she's like going, going to jump down some emergency chute, and all these walls are going to come down." Right. That didn't happen. She gave me money, and I said, "Thank you very much." And I stopped and got a lollipop on the way out. You think you you thanked her? Oh, I think. Well, I mean, she, okay. Uh, okay. Polite. You know, right, there's no right. reason not to be polite. Sure. I'm not a savage. <laughs> and um, that other, I guess that other guy was right. Once you start, you can't stop. It's a. It's it. It sounds so easy, though. It it is. Ming, well, do me a favor. I'm I'm gonna tell you the same thing at the end. Okay. If anyone is out there going, why didn't you stop him? It's like, well, I can't stop him physically. Sure. But I, yeah, I yeah, think I, I told you. Did you? You, you yeah, gotta stop. Did you? Yeah. yeah what did I you, told him multiple could, times. You, you kind of have to stop. Okay. I, and not even multiple times because I didn't find out till uh, I think you were on your last or second to last run. Yeah. And I'm like, you got to stop. And you told me that um, our mutual friend Barry was like, eh, you know, <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, I mean, if, if it's a, a winning combination, don't mess with it. I'm like, you don't want to listen to him. I mean, was this so easy that you're like, well, I can't, why would I stop? Why, I mean, no why would I not? Why would right. I not no, this is too easy. Did you ever think it was too easy? After a while, it just got to be like going to work, like you know. Except sometimes you didn't get you didn't get any money, and that's right. the problem. But right. the only thing is, if you don't get the money, you still risk the charges and all the other things. Sure. Um, did you have any close calls? Uh, you know, maybe a cop walked in. No, or no. I uh, maybe someone tried to chase you down afterwards. Nope, no heroes. Um, all right, because I think we're all conditions. Like, let's just let him take the money. He may be well armed. because they don't want you to turn around and shoot the guy behind you sure. on the line. Right, and that's the that's the only thing. Right, um, and they don't want to get shot. Right, um, so it's been easy to give up a couple thousand dollars. And um, so the last time I did it, I did it two in one day, which I think threw up red flags with the major K squad <laughs> because then I'm being bold and I'm doing two in one day. I'm robbing a place that I robbed before. Um, bold isn't the word I use, but <laughs> Sunday night I'm watching. It starts the, with a B. Sunday night I'm watching The Simpsons, and okay. and there's a Roseanne Scotto cut in. Okay. And she said, "Police are looking for a man they call the Smiling Bandit." Who okay. Was robbed X amount. I of thought it was like, "Why is this man smiling?" You'll find out after the break. Yeah, you were like, "What? What? And what an idiot!" And next like, to Wait her, a minute. next to her is a picture of me at the counter, and you can tell it's me. <laughs> and so, I get I get a phone call. Um, I wonder if there's footage, if we could get, like, I would I, love to see that footage. It's got to be somewhere. There's some, well, I start throwing clothes in a bag because I'm the next day I'm out. And Well, all right. So when, by the time this happened, how many jobs approximately have you pulled? I was, I pled guilty to Robin three, three banks. They supposedly don't charge you with your first one that you rob. <laughs> right. I don't know why that's a rule. It but you had obviously done more than three if they're this. Something like They're it. like, yes, okay, yes. this is a serial bank robber and we need to catch him. Yeah, because I did stick to the same sort of premise and there were pictures. Sure. Yeah. But as you, I said, who knows? Who knows? Me? Right. And you watch The Simpsons. Did you see this? Uh, I, no, I was. You were, uh, you were no, but I got a phone call and it's like, uh, and it was the next day and it was from a pay phone. It's right. like, all right, uh, listen, I'm going to stop by and say goodbye. I'm like, what? He's like, you weren't watching The Simpsons last night, and he's uh, he hung up. He came in, said goodbye. He's like, listen, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a powder for a little while. I'm like, oh shit. I said, well, call, you know, make sure that you get you're okay. Mm -hmm. And then they started asking people who who can give us a hand and drop dime on this guy. And I knew like 18 people. Who, who would definitely do that right. once like, so I opened up on a Monday. I opened up the New York Post. I'm, right. on, I'm on the third page. You're Okay, so at this and point... And I opened the Daily News. I'm on the you've fifth been, page. You've been caught. Um, I imagine didn't take long to identify you. The guys from the Major Case Squad, they said they've never had anything happen. They said the first 15 people just nailed you, just said exactly who you were. Um, and well, he wait, said, everybody so in New Jersey knows you. He said, we've never had that happen. I said, I wasn't really counting on that. You know? uh, right. Wait. So they, they pull up all these news bulletins, and then what? They start getting calls yeah. from yeah. people who knew who you were. Yeah. Was there a reward? There might have been something, but usually they don't give it. You know. Okay. And these are all people you knew had called in? Yeah. 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 And um, I guess they didn't like you? or No, they just said, if you want to know who that is, I know who that is. And then you get to be, you know, you get to feel you've done your part for 
truth. And okay, justice. so they were okay. They were just being good Snitches, citizens. That's what they call. Snitch, well, because <laughs> Lisa. That's why Lisa. I know. Call. That's I the only one I know. Time. So you see this on the news. That and then the next. What's going through your head? I said, "Oh shit!" And then the next day, when I go to buy my newspapers, I open them up. And I'm like, "Oh, there's a big picture of me in the in the post." And I'm like, "Oh, this." At what I, point are you like, "I gotta get out of here"? Oh, that that when I came back and opened up the newspaper that morning, and I just stuffed some clothes in there, and I got on a a bus, and Did I took a train to Newark, and then I took a bus from Newark to Oregon. Oregon? Why Oregon? I had a friend who lived out there, and I was gonna go see him. Okay. Um, and, and he would call, and every uh, and um, I knew we were being tapped. Holy crap! What's going through your head though while this is all happening? You're like, are oh, you, this, I mean, I, I would be super well, paranoid. Saying, like, oh man, I think that old lady's like looking at me funny. I was fine when I was on the bus, you know. Oh, um, I mean, the bus is full of scoundrels. I tried and, to uh, turn <laughs> myself. Yeah, it's by, by the way, it's not a it's not a fun ride across country. Oh, I can't imagine. I dr I ditched my phone in Cleveland. I remember because I just left it on bench. I said, "Good, maybe someone will get get arrested for having my phone on." I mean, I said, "At least throw someone off," even though I left it in a bus depot. So it's not sure, like, not like you're not going to figure it out. But sure, was um, so and then at this point, what the FBI contacts his your your, your there acquaintances? Was, there and, was everybody. Uh, no one. I didn't get anybody coming to to. Uh, there was no knock on the door. Okay. There was no you know uh, FBI right. florist out in front of sure. my house. He would you called like twice. Yeah. And get it right out of the way. You should turn yourself in. Um, yeah, you gave good advice. Yeah. Well, not only that, but a couple of people told me just just get it out of the way, and right. then you know when the wiretap, you can talk to them. Sure. And so it's like, um, where are? Didn't even ask where you were because I'm, you know. Right. I saw Nebraska. You know, Nebraska is right. nice. Yeah. Um, but I mean, at this point. So I'm sitting here, and you could, you could run. But they have your name, they have your address, they know all your acquaintances, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if you had any kind of paper trail, if you had a credit card or anything like that. I, guess, I imagine you're. Well, I'm a bank robber, so it's not really like. Yeah, you're paying. I look for a job. You're, you know? paying, <laughs> you're paying in cash, but still, uh, you know, there's a trail. But you did you made it to Oregon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and then uh, and then I said, and everybody kept saying, the problem is, is you're crossing the state lines to get away, so you got to get back. Um, so you came back? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I arranged for them I, to surrender in Oregon. I'm talking to my father. I'm talking to wait, another wait, so guy. Wait, you get to Oregon? You're I'm like, going to okay, see I... my friend, but I said it's probably not a good idea to introduce him into this mix. Right. So you decide to turn yourself in? Yeah. Because I knew that the charges that I would face if I were to be in Oregon as opposed to New Jersey would be different. Okay. Like, I, I've, I've committed what more mean, crimes by, by running. At... At what point did you decide to give yourself up, though? Where you're on the bus, you're like, I can't do this. I hung this. around. No, I hung around, but then people kept explaining to me that I was talking to what it was that I would face if I continued this. So you're still, you can't, you still can't shut up. You're telling people you were on no, the bus. No, no, these are the same you're... small circle of people, but okay, they're telling okay, me okay. what my charges were. Right, right. Um, and, and so you ditched your phones. Are you calling them on pay phones, I yeah, guess? Yeah. And Okay. And I arranged, and, I, and I'm at the bus station, and um, I spent the day in. Portland just bumming around. Um, it's nice if you're homeless, by the way. I, they, they, I, they feed people and they it's nice if you're I, if you have a home as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I fed a homeless person in Portland. I was, okay, I, yeah, there was fact. berry French toast with berries on it, and they had paperback books that you could take if you oh, wanted sure. something to read. I said, that's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was going into a convenience store and a homeless person was like, "Hey, um, you know, can you buy me some food?" I'm like, "Yeah, I guess." So I'm like, "I'm like, just pick out whatever you want, I guess." Okay, and um, yeah, it's a very good, it's very homeless friendly. But yeah, yeah. So you were like, I can't. There was no thought to like, hey, maybe I'll go to Mexico and just nah. get away with this. You were, um, and when I when the police came down, it was really funny because it was just like on the TV shows. Well, wait. Four so cars. you were, you were in Portland. You came back. No, no, I'm in, I'm in Portland. And, and they arrest and, you and there. I'm talking, yeah, and I'm talking to my father, who is talking to the major K squad people. Who are talking to the FBI? Okay, and they're just like, just turn yourself into the local authorities, and yeah. we'll take it from we'll extradite you. And this. they all pull up, and they're and the doors swing open, and they're all behind. So where are you at this point? Right near the bus station, in, in at a payphone. Portland. Booth. You yeah, told yeah. them where you were. Well, I told my father, and he told them, you know, he told them where they were, right. and then they called there, and uh, and they all have their guns drawn behind the car. Sure, sure. Well, they don't know. You just might like be, on TV, and I'm like, well, oh, you're a bank hey, robber, so yeah. I'm, uh, you know, armed and dangerous. And they get my ID and they, they know who I am and why I'm there. And they uh, they run my name for the warrant or sure. whatever. And nothing comes up. 
So they had not issued a warrant for your arrest. No, there was just a glitch in the system where it wasn't shown for them. Right. And so what does we, that mean then? They said, we can arrest you. Um, oh. But if you're out there on your own, somebody, when the warrant pops up, someone okay. might pop you. Sure. Um, so they said, come down to the station and hang out until we get the warrant. <laughs> wow. So I'm on a cot in the police station. Um, and this is Portland. It's pretty big. Sure. Um, and I'm a cot in a, in a room off to the side. And then I get, get to go outside and smoke cigarettes every once in a while. I mean, at this point, do you think to maybe hire a lawyer? I get, or no. you're just waiting for one? FBI comes down and I said, listen, I said, I know that I'm going to have to go back east. Mm -hmm. I said, and I don't want to repeat stories over and over again. So I said, I'm not really going to talk to you at the moment. And at that point, they can't do anything. Sure. They just did it. Well, and so I get extradited and it, they have to, the cops come out from New York and they, bring me on the plane with the shackles right like the hannibal lecter yep, sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah yeah i'm shuffling you're, you're, along. In, you're like, like iron like leg irons and uh yeah and they were they, were they were very nice to me i got a uh i remember i had a caesar salad on the plane and then when I, <laughs> you got fed and oh went, yeah and then when i got um <laughs> i got back my I, we went to the major case squad and that's where i saw all all the notes on the wall they were uh, busting chops with me um we have uh, comments. <laughs> Do we? Have, can you pull them up? Or I mean, anybody... we have many comments for sure. Um, but I, I, I just want to. I, I just want to know what's going through your head right, right now. <laughs> At that so. point, then I think, oh, I'm, I'm really fucked. I just, I, I'm really. I, this is not going to go well because you know that's sure. I, what? Because <laughs> it's a crime. Did any point you're like, oh man, I, did you regret? Reg when did regret set it? It's like, man, maybe I, man, I wish I'd never even started all this. No, because I, I enjoyed it when I, you know, I, I had to pay sure. a terrible price. I mean, I got locked up for and two what, years. And what time, what month was this? May. So you started in April, March, No, April? I started in February. February. In so in a three, you went on a three-month crime yeah, spree yeah, yeah. in New York City. Yeah, and I felt because it called me, Roseanne Scotto called me the Smiling Bandit. And I thought, well, that makes me a, like a super a villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A super villain. Okay. Um. I, so it was all banks. Our, our our loyal listener, Andrew Stottle, always busting balls, but we love him. Uh, did you ever rob a comic book store? Did you ever think to rob a comic book store? No, not really, because okay. I like the comic book people. <laughs> okay. But banks, I guess banks, you knew they would have money. The convenience store when I was a, uh, in high school, because I had to uh, go on a class trip. I always remember that. <laughs> you robbed the convenience store. Okay. Katz's. Should have gone for Katz's. Uh, Laura Richter, our friend Laura Richter, Mike Zap for Mike Zapsick. Uh, were you afraid of any consequences for having known about this beforehand? Uh, ex is that accessory level? I don't think it was because uh, I could have played it off as if he were joking. Ah, he's a jokester. Sure. But by the same token, you know, I'm like, I don't want to know what you're doing. Um, and the, I mean, the doll that he got, I mean, they could have confiscated it, but it's sure. like, do you still have it? No, unfortunately, don't. Lost but, it in the, no, uh, the flood. Yeah, the flood, oh, flood, flood took oh, everything. No. From, yeah, Charlie yeah. Manson, he, by the way, that would have been. It's, he's by the way, he's he was right about a lot of things because you know what Helter Skelter was. I, I thought it was his whole cult and everything, but no, uh, it's uh, it's it was the race war that was going to happen. Oh, right, okay. And his theory was that after everybody killed each other, they would ask him, um, to help lead the country. Right. Um, after the whites were all murdered, <laughs> right. um, that was his thing. Um, wow! So they well, at least you didn't have to take a bus back when they extradited you. No, it was nice with the plane. Yeah, yeah. And you get down, you land here, and I get they take you to where the downtown, and then they leave me there down in New York, uh, down at the actually in, in the, the. Oh, they uh, of the course tombs, they extradited yeah. in New York. I stay in the and tombs, and then I go to Rikers <laughs> Island. And, you were you were at Rikers six months. Holy crap! Fractured, That's... fractured jaw. It was a bad well, time. All right, so they book you, and at one, at, it's Rikers is not a nice. Well, you don't have to tell me this, but I'm telling the audience, biggest, Rikers is biggest not a, prison in the world. It's not a nice place. No, no, no. It's an awful, awful. Uh, but it's where they kind of. I would help. be scared shitless at that point. Um, booking so fingerprints, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mug yeah. shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the what that, what color was your jumpsuit? Do you remember? No, we didn't have jumpsuits. No jumpsuits. No, no, no. That was all. Uh, you wore your clothes. You know. Um, upstate when you go into a prison system okay. or something like that, right. or if you're a sentence person, but right, bad food, 
very, very bad. That was the thing I really bummed me out. Was the food was well, I learned on I learned by watching uh, the Dude, night the night of on HBO. Um, come on, man! You claim to be a Muslim, then you get better. You get better food oh, if you're a Muslim. He, he told me that to tell him that I was Jewish, so I would get the, yeah, the Jewish, kosher the, food. The kosher yeah. food. Yeah. 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 Wait. So when did you when did you find out he had gotten? Oh, I, I kept telling him to turn himself okay. in. And then um, I was talking to our mutual friend, Johnny. Johnny is like, well, they got him yeah. and they're bringing him back. And there, there was limited communication with sure. him during the trial and whatever. And also, well, how long before you went to trial? It's a long time, right? Did you did they um, you get there? They process you. Then I guess they sentence you. you go no, to, well, you go. What's they, the process? One of the things they do is they call bullpen therapy. Where you go down, you get called out of your unit when you have a court appearance, and you're jammed into a, a waiting pen of three or four with a whole bunch of people. Okay. And then you sit or stand there for hours right. until you get called to go on the bus to go to Manhattan. Okay. For court. Um, and it's miserable. That's and then you go into another holding pen there, oh. and you get moved to another holding pen, and then eventually you spend two minutes in court. Right. And at this point, I I, I assume they appoint you a lawyer. Yes, I had a public defender and the first time i went for a lineup um the two cops that arrested me said um that guy's drunk um, he said your lawyer's drunk and I said, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that was the quality of <laughs> and legal I, representation the you problem had. was i told my father i said don't say anything i said the guy was drunk i said but don't say anything because i said if it comes down to it and i gotta say that i didn't get good counsel i said i'd rather be on the record and say that he was drunk sure after the fact sure um my father doesn't listen and he goes to them and they get rid of him and i got another lawyer and, right. and another lawyer tells me that i might not get any time and uh wow for robbing i said that Robert. seems really odd well isn't that his job i guess to be like no no i can get you off said, but there's no way like i mean i'm you know i'm literally on tv and i've talked to them about what i did you know i i, you, I spoke to them you, you know? can you basically confessed oh yeah 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 well the <laughs> it's not why the first rule, I, I again, this I learned this by watching HBO, is you don't say anything. Depends. Don't say anything. Depends don't talk to anybody. Depends upon. Oh no no. Well, well you were like, yeah, I did is, it. No no. This is this was. I'm looking at a lot of charges. Sure. And this is a way to get back. And I'm not, I'm not admitting to anything that they don't know that they don't have pictures of me doing. Right. I mean, even though they and have it, photos of you it there, it would have meant another six months on Rikers Island. And that, oh, okay, and that wasn't worth it. Right, uh, but the the first sentencing, I, I were you able to post? Did they put bail? Were you able to post bail? See, that's just it. Is I could have paid bail and gotten bailed out. Sure. Do you remember only, what the bail it was? was? Only like ten thousand dollars. So you only need a thousand to get yeah. out. Ten. Depending upon who you are and what you are and sure. where you're going. Sure. You know. Um, but that was okay because I got that. But then while I'm on there, I have this beef with the gang, and someone fractures well, my jaw right. and I end up in a. Did hospital. you? You didn't post bail. No, no, no. My, my family thought that it probably would be better to, uh, to just let you sit there, sit there for a little, a little bit. You know, as as my father said, to learn your lesson. Um, right. So um, at this point, Riker is pretty overcrowded, I imagine. So do you even get a cell, or is it like that? No, open it's a area? dormitory style. Okay. You know, where where there's fifty people in a unit, um, and I would always laugh because I would look on the um, line when we we're waiting for food, mm -hmm. and I'd say, "We don't even have enough people in here to." feel the white basketball team because that's how that's that was the shame of it more than anything else was the amount of minorities sure uh, as sure opposed yeah. to that's, the population that, I, um, it's, yeah it's, i think uh yeah i don't I, I mean i think that's just um how it is that's the reality of it is uh, it's the reality because they're easy to lock up sure yeah you know there's no one there's no one advocating for yep, them exactly um, yeah, yeah like yeah. that totally totally one thing about the whole experience was that totally ruined a lot of stuff for me because i saw how how people were treated. I got to see how it was to be a minority, and I never experienced that in my sure. life. Where, where someone would yep. look at me and say, well, he looks different than I do, and a whole bunch of people would look at me that way. Right. Um, when your first night there, though, were you? was it like Shawshank? Like, I want to go home. I want my mom. And no, get there's beat up. weird. Um, what was your first night like? There's weird people um, doing their own thing. Like, some of them don't really wait to. Uh, to get upstate or to go to prison before they start, you know, turning. Uh, oh God. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> like I might as well jump on this bandwagon. That's that. Yeah. I didn't need to know that. Oh my God. And a lot of sick people and a lot of, uh, uh, 
uh, just a lot of a lot of weird people, a lot of nickel and dime people, and a lot of major, you know. But right, but that first night, I like I. The only thing I don't want to do in life is end up in the joint. That's it what doesn't you don't look, want. It is you would you would not awful. Last. I wouldn't let. I know. I, I know. Last. I would not. No, would but you were what six? You're a pretty big guy. It would completely and immediately take away that from you. Like you would. After three days in being locked up, right. you would be completely changed. You get okay. Yeah, like you'd be beaten, not beaten down, but I always feel that if you've spent a year or two um, incarcerated, you just get used to it. Where, n no, you understand that nothing that you do is yours to do. Sure, you don't go anywhere right. unless you're told to. Yep. There are. I always laugh because someone the old saying "iron bars do not a prison make," and I. I disagree with that. It's actually pretty much what makes a prison. <laughs> I mean, you know? isn't that the definition? <laughs> that really is. As in, but when people say that um, because they're allowed to go to the nail salon now, and someone said this at work, they said it's like being – they said this has been like prison, and I, go, and I remember because no, no one, not. This ain't no nothing one, like prison. No one asked me a second question, but I go, nah, it's yes. not like prison. I said, right. besides that, there's females. I said, there's a lot of other yeah. different things. So, uh, also that first night, first week, uh, you, you people try to start befriending you. It's like, hey man, uh, you want to you want to survive? Stick with me. No, because that's because no that's not Rikers Island. And then if you're going to a a prison upstate, because they they separate it by. When you're in, when you haven't been sentenced, and then when you go upstate, sure. okay. um, which means that you get more than a year. Yeah, if you get less than a year, you go, you stay where you're at. Um, and no, but I didn't go also to a max. Then when you go to a max, you know, I went to medium security. Okay. Um, they were uh, like that's better. I guess it's better. Yeah, it's better. Oh yeah, it's better because it? it's not um Dan Amore or you know Escape from you know Shawshank. Yeah, right. You right. Know. Um, so how long were you in there before you actually got a court date? You go to grand jury first. Okay. And then I went to arraignment, then I went to grand jury, and then uh, they sentence or they schedule various the, things. The wheels of justice move very slowly, correct? So Very was slowly. It, was it months before you got that court date? Three months. You know, you, you have to get a court date within a certain period of time from when you've been arraigned. Sure. Uh, I, I forget what the what the days are. Okay. So we're into like summer now and you have a court Summer time, yes. A lot of uh, – the. Democratic National Convention, I think, was in New York. Um, tornadoes or hurricanes, or whatever. It's a big hurricane season, right? Uh, um, at what point, uh, yeah, do you meet the gangs and all that? It's not you can't be out front about the gangs, but you know who is in what gang usually because they're sure. you know, they're not wearing reds to be in bloods because right. they don't allow that color in right Yeah, life. but you can tell by looking at someone like what if they're in a gang and what gang they're in. Yes, well, okay. there's Latin kings. There's Bloods and there's sure. crips, and that's pretty much it. There's other stuff, but so offshoot the like factions. Yeah, uh, there might be MS 13. I don't really right. know. Did anyone try to recruit you, or did they just no, pick no, up no, on no. You? What am I? I'm, a, I'm just a white guy. You know? There is Aryan. But they just want, they, oh, right. Okay, they, right, right. right. Well, there's that too, right? Yeah, the I Aryan. didn't see any of them. There would be some people that would come up to me and talk about, you know, uh, obviously redheaded, you know, uh, white guys that look like they're in the Aryan nation, you know, or something like that. You know? So you met J.K. Simons? Yes, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> It wasn't anything like Oz. That's one thing. Uh, right. Thank God. Did you be? Yeah. Did you make friends? <sighs> yeah, there was people that I made acquaintances with. Okay. A couple that I've, a uh, couple I talked to after I got out. Um, one of them died. Um, he, In prison? Yeah, yeah. He was. Um, got shanked? No, he died of something. I don't know what. It was. <laughs> okay. He had been in for twenty something years. Right. And, uh, and then when I got out, I found out what he was in for, and it was uh, I was like, oh God. Now I know I didn't have a lot of friends. He killed some baby or something. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's bad, yeah. bad news. And okay. then there was Back Lenny. On that one. There was Lenny, who I got to know because we played Dungeons and Dragons. Um, in prison? Yeah, yeah. You can play D&D in jail? Yeah, yeah. So, you know. The, How they let you have, like, 20-sided dice? Like, yes, D20s? And, sometimes, yeah. And character But sheets? then they ended up taking all his stuff because they said it was, uh, like, witchcraft or something like that. <laughs> oh. Like, I promoted that. <laughs> uh. That, but they let you, like, like smoke heroin and, like, smuggle heroin, like, drugs through, yeah, like, your butthole. Letting. <laughs> they just turn a blind eye to but it. But they won't let you play D&D where you can smuggle dr spoofing. drugs in your ass? They called it boofing. That's when you put balloons and stuff in your ass right. and they, i would be like so wait none of these guys tried to recruit you to be like hey man like uh can you get like i don't know family a relative to sneak yeah drugs? No, no, no one no. did that i, I tried all to, right i guess I, I tried to keep my head down you know and not be involved right and i couldn't do that 
But you said you got into an altercation, though. Yes. With you a, got your jaw broken? Yeah, fractured. What happened? Why? Some guy came to me, and he said to me something about covering up when you come out of the shower. And I said, you know, whatever. You know, I don't know. It's like, hey, man, this is, this is God gave me this, man. I can't. I can't. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I guess I it. didn't do it or didn't know about it. And mm -hmm. he, we got in a fight, and he got in trouble for the fight. And then. So um, you were marked for death at that point. Well, not yeah, and then, death, but and then I'm beating. waiting for a. a a court appearance, and right. I don't know, but some guy who's next to me just waylays me, just cold, sucker, cocks, cold cocks me, and just out of half knocks me out. Yep. And they a were a friend of his, a Latin friend of his. So they were in a gang. Yes, and uh, and he was ordered to. And I get mess um, you up. Well, that's probably what just it, it's what you do out of instinct because that's what you that's what kind of person you are, you know. But I got messed up bad. I right. Mean, it was like I had to go to. They well, sent was, it, wait, was it one punch or did you just keep just going? One punch, one punch. And you went down. Yeah, I was completely. He didn't keep kicking you and like there weren't don't know. up. All right, I'm sorry. I watched, yeah, too, yeah, much, yeah, I watched yeah. too much TV. There was so too much. This uh, is stuff I see on, you know. <laughs> too crowded for probably too much to happen and them not to notice. Sure. So then, then they sent me back to my unit and I've got a fractured jaw. And right. I, I said, you know, they end up taking me to, uh, to Belleville later that night. And then they admitted me and then they had to wire up my jaw. And, sure. Uh, and then I had to go to another unit where <laughs> happened people happened to both of you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I gained weight when I had my jaw wired, even in jail. Right. Because I was eating uh, instant mashed potatoes. And okay. I, and I remember the funniest thing was I I snorted some oatmeal because <laughs> do you remember when Homer had a broken jaw? Yeah, of and course. He tried, and he snorted a steak. Right. And I said, well, maybe I can snort a, um, even no, forgetting that it doesn't cartoon. work. No, no, it's really right. bad, by the way, especially I if your jaw is wired shut. Um, Simpsons no. are a cartoon, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, um, and I had that on, and then I, I, I went to, um, and this didn't result in like further beatings. Did they didn't terrorize? No, because you? I'm off to in a hospital ward, okay. basically. And then by the time you got back, I guess they forgot about well, it, they're, or you started covering up. Or well, what? the thing <laughs> was, I had been jumped. In the unit, so I was supposed to be in protective custody, anyways. Right. And I went before the judge, and the judge ordered that, and they didn't do it, and that meant that uh, they were kind of on the hook for me getting assaulted sure. because I was supposed to be kept away from people because of this beef. So I ended up suing the city, but um, oh, for getting for for yeah, and uh, all right. Yeah. So, so you get your day in court. Uh, how long was the trial? Was it a, no? There was, was no a, trial. I just, I, I just pled guilty. You pled they, guilty. Pled guilty. To and your lawyer was like, just plead guilty. Plead guilty. Well, he was telling me what I was going to do. He when says, what was uh what what were we looking at here? Two to three years. Right, not uh, not terrible. I said good, I could take that. Yeah, with good behavior and time served. I'm uh, six months in, I might might have another year to do, and that'd be it. You know. Right, but prison is not easy. Prison was prison was easier than Rikers. Prison was much easier than. Well, wait. So how long were you in Rikers for? How long? Six months. That couldn't have been easy. No, that was no. Much, that's much you worse. just telling. Yeah, you much that. worse than I'd yeah. rather have that. Okay, so you, you pled guilty. They sent you to two to three years, and then they send you where? They send me to first. They send you to Downstate, which is just a processing center. Okay. And then I go to Marcy, where which is it's in the Mid State Hub. It's in. Uh, I think of New York State is having nothing near it. Um. But Utica. It, Utica. Right. Okay. Yeah. North of here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And where, by the way, Marcy is mid state is in Marcy. And Marcy is where Squeaky from got pearled. Right. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't That's cross lovely. paths. But, um, so you didn't have to go to court. There was no judge going, like, oh, my God, have mercy on your soul. No, because what happens <laughs> just is like, all right, those yeah. same charges, if I want to take that to trial and I lose, I get five to 10. Sure. And that's the whole deal. So, so the, the lawyers, I just plead guilty. Overcharge, like yeah. It's an open and shut case. They have your, your, they have you on video. They, not like three months into me being upstate, there's an article in the Times mm -hmm. about Commerce Bank and all the trouble. And then there's a quote from me. And it said, John Doherty, who was arrested for robbing nine Commerce Banks um, in Midtown Manhattan, blah, 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 said that he robbed them because they were the easiest. Um, or they, <laughs> they were the friendliest. Used, they were right. friendliest, man, because they were. They were yeah, very yeah, friendly. Yeah, yeah. They had no bars. They had no people. Yeah, you, you were know. smiling. And by the way, that's when they started having uh, plexiglass sure. people and uh, cops. Sure. And, now we have plexiglass for a whole different reason. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which, when they do start opening banks, please... Don't I, I hope this isn't reawakening anything in you? Oh, I keep looking mm -hmm. at it and I'm, I go, geez. I mean, you know, they're 
making you wear a mask now. Yeah. Because I didn't, you know, I didn't know that anybody knew me. And mm-hmm. the cop said, you know, everybody in New Jersey knows you. And I said, I really wasn't counting on that. Yeah. So there were there was a whole unit. I'm that just an was average inv- looking white guy. You know, right. But the whole, have... their, their job was to take you down, though. So this yeah. whole unit dedicated to taking you down. Yes. The major you. case squad. I'm right. like, oh, this is like a law and order, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I, at no point did you think to wear any kind of covering no, I knew that if uh, I mean, if you would have, you, you just put something on the bridge of the nose, they say. Right, but I mean, didn't you watch point. point Break? You could have gotten a, a ex president's mask or but something. That's just or... It, but then I would, then no one would have noticed the guy wearing the Nixon mask. Because I'm not charging over. Like the one thing I like is I love in the movie Heat. Yes, uh, he is a would. Well, for most of Heat, yeah, they get away with it, but these are very. Sophisticated criminals, De Niro and Val Kilmer. They're just people with guns, you know. Sure. Uh, but they had it down to science. They were yeah. hacking into the computer systems. Yeah, yeah, They were yeah. turning off the I'll cameras. Right they were, yeah, Heat was a big, I watched the first part of Heat. I was like, oh, man, I would love to do this. And then <laughs> you just drop right. your credit card. Yeah, so. <laughs> just dropping stuff right? all over it's, the place. It's, yeah, it's else yeah but then, you know, when they all get taken down by Al Pacino and all that, they go, oh, man, this, doesn't, this isn't so fun anymore. Like if you bring a gun into it and that's the whole charge. Is right. Just, if you say you have a gun, that's like so that helped you not bringing a weapon because you oh, never yeah, yeah, bring, yeah, yeah, you no. never had a weapon. Oh, on I've you. never had a gun in my life. Okay, but if you if you say you have a weapon, it's one charge. Sure. It goes up if you take that weapon out. Right, and but if, on your no, you specifically said no gun. No, I had I said have gun. Oh, have gun. Yeah, so that's a charge right there. Sort of, yeah, because but, you're using you're using yeah. If I didn't say anything and I just had some long right, rambling, but they couldn't prove that you had a gun, so that. Yeah, so I still say, and because I never showed it. Right. Even if you go like this, yeah. that's having a gun. Okay. Um, and then if you use it, then you start getting into uh, you get start getting into real real charges. Yeah. So uh, our friend Dante Hicks says, "Yeah, Rikers blows." I guess he knows firsthand. <laughs> yeah, but he also said, uh, "You know, you didn't think of a fake beard, like some anything." Who knows me? That's what I kept saying. I don't right. look like you know. I mean, it's. Uh, but as it turns out, everybody knows. Me. Well, I want you on camera. Yeah. When I was smiling, because I thought it was funny, you know. Like, Many uh, identifying ooh. features. Yeah, as it turns out, yeah. I yeah. wasn't counting on that. Okay. Uh, so you get like, shipped up to Utica, and you said that medium security prison, but yeah. um, it was it was you said it was, was it tough? I can't. No, 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 no. Was, it was you know there's enough still enough violence, still enough. Sure. The thing is, is that you're you're monitored twenty four seven. Sure. You know, for long for years. Yeah. Did you have a cell at this point? No, it, it was Same always thing with the dormitories. Not the dormitories, but more the um four bedroom. Right. I mean, I guess you're not a violent criminal, so they they. No, and that's what to, you get okay. when you go up to maximum is you get you get separate cells. Sure. I wanted to go to Orleans. That was the uh, Orleans. That's the one in Albion. That's the women's prison. I remember because the guy, I said, "Can I go there?" And they said, "That's a women's prison." I said, "I know, you know," because I just thought that would be. You know. <laughs> so even that you're still joking around. Yeah, 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 you're yeah still well, joking I'm around. keeping my. You're still like, what the hell? Like, why not? That's um, how I got my jaw fractured. Yeah, it's, yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, did, Mr. Jokey, <laughs> Mr. Joke Man. Did, did people visit? Did you go visit him? I did not go visit him. Okay. Um, uh, because we of what? Good three hours from here, maybe. It is. So, a, it's yeah. three, four hours, and uh, I mean. We we maintained um, a pen pal right. relationship. Yeah. Wrote letters. Yeah. Okay. And I would uh, I sent him a couple of care packages because he's like, send me pastels. I can get pastels. They won't let me have. Um, I couldn't send him any like mechanical pencils or anything. Right. Yeah. Well, you could. Yeah. Those are weapons. Yeah. Of course. And so uh, mar- markers. Like felt tip um, pastel markers. I think we no the the actual pastel. So you were doing art up there. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. sent you sent uh, Mitch a, a nice drawing. Okay. So. Um, yeah, you got one too. Giving everything to Mitch, nothing to me. No, I got yeah. nothing. You weren't, yeah, what you the weren't hell? born yet, buddy. Yeah, you weren't around. You weren't, you weren't around born, yet. buddy. Sorry, <laughs> I know it's like it would have been nice. Wow. And um, all right, so same thing. You didn't get it. Go, you didn't join a gang or anything. No, no. It's you. You know that you're there for a certain amount of time. You know. Well, how much? So two to three years, they said. Yes. How much time did you, you serve? You come up for parole after the first year. Which one year, I, which I did. Okay, and, um, and I didn't get it. Why but didn't they give it to you? They, they, they're, they kind of spin a wheel, you know, they spin a wheel and depending upon what you, you know. Okay. They, it wasn't like, Hey, uh, you know, have you been re- 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 rehabilitated? You're like, hell no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, none of that. They ask you the same question. Sure. Say the same yeah. It's like Shawshank. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know you, just, you, you say, Oh yeah, I'm really sorry. It's terrible. It didn't, you know, and 
I'm uh, sorry for what I've done. I've they, heard too many people. The thing yeah. was, they paroled me to New York City because they said that's where you got arrested. That's where you okay. get out of jail. And uh. The only thing is, I don't really know anybody in New York City, so it was kind of. Uh, Wait. So how long were you in? How long did you serve? I did um, two and a, two and a half. Two. Okay. Two years. No, because at two years they let me out. Even, and I had a year to do parole. Okay, so the second time you went before the board, the parole No, then board. they just released me because of time frame and, you know, you completed this and you okay. completed that. And then they let what, you out. Um, how did you, you pass the time in prison? Drawing. Yeah, yeah mostly. Okay, mostly. You were, were you playing? Drawing, and, drawing or, and I read every Stephen King book. Right. There's a uh, prison library, I guess. There was there was not yeah, a did library. You, like, did you make license plates? or? Uh... No, but people make license plates. People make soap. People make not there. There, the funniest job was there was an asbestos removal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you'd, lipers, man. You'd make, you'd make, you, like, they, I wouldn't work in a oh, kitchen. Oh, right, because you get paid too, right? Yeah. Um, what did they pay you? Seven like, cents. Like 20, you know, 250 a week, $3 a week. Right. That was to working in the kitchen. And I said, I'm not working in the kitchen. I said, because this, I'm not doing it, your slop work. Um, the asbestos paid like $50 a week. Wow. And I said, you've got to be kidding me. But at the be. risk of your health, yeah. <laughs> at the risk. Yeah. At the, and the they only almost... got to pay out three weeks because then you die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Um, so, yeah, you were up in New York, and, and you had to get a job. You were in a halfway house. No. Uh, yeah, what? What? so. No, I'm, I got I got paroled to New York City. And is it literally like, all right, here's all I your. I thought you had to go to a halfway house. I got, okay. I got I got paroled to New York because I said, why can't I go to Jersey? Because, you know, that's where my family and my sport. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, that'll take another six months. Um, I said, well, let's parole me to New York. <laughs> yeah, and it was actually nice. I got imagine. to go. I had to go to a shelter. And that was really almost like a. a, a but is it literally like, all right, that you sign a, a document and you're out. They give you your possessions back, whatever you had. They to give you a new. suit and 20 bucks. They give you. A, no, you have clothes that you wear out okay um and they your give last you a paycheck i guess something like that okay. and then they put you on a bus to wherever they actually take you to get ch cash to check and then they take you that's why i know it was near utica because we left for utica yeah. to new york and i had to go to a, a shelter and check in because i didn't have you know a place to stay and right and i did i don't know the parole officer said you have to um you have to do X amount of time, and then after the last couple months, we're not going to pay any attention. So, last couple months, I just came back to Jersey. Right. And uh, um, so, do, were you rehabilitated? No, I, I you know, <laughs> like I got a job that I thought. All right, any kids out there? Um, well, I don't know what to tell well, you. My but, kid's right here. Right, so. right. Did you? Yeah. He, I sold timeshares when I got out. It was a job that I had, and that was. Sure, I oh, mean, I imagine. So, I mean, you're out. That I felt worse about than Robin Banks selling the timeshare vacation I, I would be too but i mean you're you're out you're free yep um i mean did you miss your freedom or were you just kind of like eh, yeah, no, two it's, years? no to be able to go where you want and sure. that was the thing is is it's just such a a stress first of all you're not in with the best people and you're not one no. of the best people you no. know so uh but the shelter was even filthier you know but i got a i got a place pretty fast i was suing the city and the woman came down i had to go to the southern district because I had to sue him in federal court. Why'd you sue the city? Because because I was supposed to be in protective custody when I got assaulted again. Oh right, time. okay, right. And that was all on on paper. Okay. Did I, you win that case? I settled. I could have sued. So they, you got money from it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you got a little bankroll to start out. Yeah, because I I remember because your I'm, new life. I'm doing it in federal court, and a woman sits down from there from there, and she says, "Well, she says if you don't um, win this case, we're going to come after you for court costs." Sure. And all those other things. And I said, I really don't care. Right. Obviously. I said, you'll never, I said, you'll never get a penny. I said, I'll never work for the rest of my life. Yeah. Said, that's, if that's what you think you're going to get. Yeah. And, and she settled for a few thousand dollars, but I, you know. It's... Right. So do, do you get a job immediately after you're out? Yeah. Out? I got a job. Selling timeshares. Timeshare vacations over the phone. Okay. And, well, I mean, I imagine they would hire anybody. They don't care. Yeah. And I was really good at it. Cause, it, and, but I felt worse about that than I did about Robin Banks. Cause yeah. was, you're a good salesman. Yeah, yeah. It was, well, I guess maybe you, you, the the criminal background maybe helped you out. Um, in the shiftiness of you know paying he, the, it was like paying rent. He know? would call me and he'd be like, oh, oh, "He's man. trying to sell you the time." Share. No, no, no. Oh, he would okay. call me and he'd be like, "This is this is destroying my soul." Sure. Like, oh my god, I, I, go I would back rather. To jail. I want to. I want to go back to Robin right. Banks. I'm like, no, just stay on the straight and narrow. He's like, uh, but this is so, and he's like. You have no idea what I'm doing. And right. I'm like, no, I don't. And yeah. he explained so, it. And I'm like, $299. Oh. Yeah. Two people. 
two hundred nine dollars each for two people, eight days, seven nights in Florida and the Bahamas. You still have the, the wow. Oh yeah, oh, I can still goodness. remember that. Uh, yeah, the hotels, oh, the crap, cruise man. to the Bahamas, and unlimited. Rental no blackout dates right. except for I this. Mean, this, what, this. What was this, it like this, being this. on the outside again, though? What What What'd you miss the most? Probably food. You know, probably decent McDonald's, food, like you know. making that that bunless uh, yeah, Big yeah, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't uh, do that in right. the, the joint women, um, kitchen. Women were women were a key thing because there were women in the prison working, but they were never really, you know. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. a good. That's a, the girl that's, in the library. We used to say because she was attractive. Sure. She was like a she was like an eight in prison, eight or nine, and mm -hmm. she was like a three on the street. Well, yeah, it was prison hot. Sure. Yeah, she's prison hot. You know, and I said, wow, that's. Uh, and, but you weren't allowed good, to ever look at anybody wrong. That's like. a good point. That's probably that's a big thing to miss, man. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's right. That's one of the things about the virus and how this is like prison. And I go, eh, it's not really that right. Much. Right. So no one tried to like make you their bitch. Or? No. Yeah. You, no. Nobody. You've never seen anybody get hit in the head with a sock full of batteries. You know, not out here. Okay. Least. You didn't meet the sisters like in Shawshank. Yeah. No. No. There's nothing there were, like that. There were weird. Sure. Sort of transvestite. I, sure. Sure. That's people. I, that's just prison culture yeah it's just i i don't know it's it's it, i look at that and i go well, that's much different than you know a woman <laughs> did um being back out like did people treat you different like oh man he's an ex-con man no i did uh, i did use the line on a, a woman once i met i think him. they like people women like it right yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Think, Park slope i met a woman in a, and i met her online and then i met her in a bar and i said have you ever had bank robber sex right and then uh, she said what's that and i said that's sex with me um, and then they got, you know, some people like the whole pirate thing, you know. Or did you, um, did you get hardened in prison? Do you like come out like a, t like, tougher? no, did I work out or anything? No, I read, I read and yeah, I, you didn't, you weren't in the, the, whatever, the yard. You didn't lift weights. Or I know. I, I would walk the track in the yard. Um, okay. With me and Les, who had Loki the baby. Um, oh, right. Okay. Ooh, yeah. That that was, we're not yeah, going to yeah, talk yeah, about And about Lenny, 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 who was, uh, he was a home invader. Um, the All one right. I played, the uh, low level uh, crime. Yeah. No, no, he seemed to, and then you look up these people because their their records were all online. You go, oh, ooh, ooh. it was it was more. Did you do that afterwards? Yeah, yeah, you... yeah. Only one How... person turned out to be just who they. Because I would tell people, listen, this is what you know, because they want to know what your charges are. People will want to see your paperwork, just because you don't know what people are, right? Um, and I would tell people, you know, um, this is what I did. Um, was there any thought to repeating? The bank robbery. Sure. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 an adrenaline. It's pretty easy work. Um, the only thing is, I know the consequences now, so you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really have. A... It didn't, it didn't seem like they were that bad, though. No, no they weren't. That's just it. They weren't. But I, which is, but if I have a to, good thing. If I have to stand before a judge again, uh, I bet if I got the wrong judge, it might be a bad sure. bad thing. Um, I I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing it now. There are cameras everywhere. Like I don't even know how you commit crimes cameras and anymore. phones. Yeah, I don't People know. have cameras. Right, I mean, it's like, right. Yeah. But they're even. I mean, in this in this room alone, in this studio alone, there are multiple cameras. Yeah, and we don't even have a bank or anything. And we they have, have their cash cameras, cameras now. Though the ones at the Commerce Bank. Oh are, yeah, they're freaking on 4K, <laughs> streamed over the internet. Like yeah, they're watching I everything. I opened up that New York Post and I go, oh man, you know, I know who that. Did is. you keep that paper? You have a copy? Well, I didn't, no, I don't have a copy. I almost bought one online because they sell. A, oh yeah, you can get. Yeah, they're all. It's all. Because there was, now. you know, stuff in the post. Now, I would yeah, love to see that. Here's a question. I have to ask you this, and I've never broached this subject before, but you said there was a, a whole shitload of people who um, who dropped dime on you. Who, yeah, yeah. I was not one of them. Okay. I, I'm, I, I don't even read the New York Post, but um, I think one of them was Angela maybe i know one was your really... ex-girlfriend yeah wacky welly ex-girl okay yeah because him i he's the one that i told to do it so he could get the money um, oh the reward money yeah yeah but i don't know whether he ever did and he probably wouldn't admit that he did because he would want to think that he didn't yeah um i i'm pretty sure glad john probably did absolutely oh he does <laughs> well, absolutely yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few people that I could see, you know. Oh yeah, I uh, I mean, <laughs> if I had to go down the line, yes, Junkie Carl. yes, yes. No, you think he? I don't think he would have done that because um, he was involved in some nefarious wallpapering. Schemes. Yes, he was a wallpaper. Man. Yes, so he and some nefarious other schemes. Um, but I mean, I think we know people <clears throat> like if presented um, with that opportunity, with like, hey, we'll give you ten grand if you could tell us who this, or not even that, like if if you know this person. Uh, there's a reward. Oh, Just yeah. tell us. Yeah, we we would do it. 
Uh, there are a few. There are a couple mm, people. Acquaintances, you know maybe what? not. Yeah. Like if it was like get him, maybe no, maybe not. I, but no, I. But and, and then I'm sure. Not everybody you knew were friends of yours. You probably made. Oh a yeah, no, there should be there. enough people. So you know, like if it was Rob Bruce, bam, right away. Of course, we would be like, oh well, yeah, man. No, that's that's him. not true. No, you wouldn't. And, you and, wouldn't. No. For a, for a cash well, reward, um, if you no. if you found out he robbed a bank. Um, but I, I'd have to have definitive proof. Sure. And, you know, I I would never. Uh, subject anyone to that kind of thing, and I wouldn't you know, try to talk about. There's no way no one's going to know who that is. Uh, true. All you have to be is the first one, so you can get the reward money. But I no, I, that that to me <laughs> and, is. And you got no, no love for that guy either. So. But I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for. It, it's it's not about love. It's about or or, or even hate. It's about sure. you know. Um, the one thing that I did learn from our mutual friend Johnny was. You know what? Um, snitches get stitches. <laughs> Don't drop dime on anybody if sure. you can possibly help it. If you are, if you have to do it, you know, in a court of law. But I mean, are you you're mad subpoenaed at, the, at, at anybody who was like, "Hey, that no. was him. yeah." I mean, what? I mean, we we all told you we were all like. You got to give yourself up, yeah, buddy. You, could, you couldn't do you, it, though. I tried to do it. I don't think it, no matter. I, I don't think even God could have come down and been I like, tried you got to stop do it in Utah. Order. When I was going through Utah, beautiful place. You tried to rob a bank in Utah? No, that's when the bus was going to Oregon. Sure. And I and it stopped in Utah, and I said, "Well, maybe I should just try oh it. turn yourself in." And I went to a cop in a Carl's Jr. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, I said, "And hey, you're I, like, this is a great Carl's Jr." I said, "I'm not sure if someone's pulling a joke on me." I said, "But somebody's might be looking for me back east." I said, "No, blah blah blah." What? And they ran my. Because they said, what are they looking for you for? And I said, well, I don't know. I said, but, you know, that's what I'm hearing. They ran your... I ran my name. Nothing license, came out. Nothing they came didn't out. have a warrant yet. There was something wrong with... Uh, <laughs> like a glitch. <laughs> database, yeah. yeah. I like that when they said, though, you know, you could go, but, you know, when we want to see you, um, we might be not as friendly. Wow. But. At that point, I've been like, maybe I got away with it. <laughs> maybe, but maybe I'll settle right here in I Utah. I should have gone to Seattle because they're supposedly really good to sure. homeless people. Right. They have yeah, showers for homeless people. Oh yeah. Oh, Seattle's yeah, they love another day. What um when you when you got your when you got out, what was the first thing you did when you got out of prison? Cheeseburger? It had to be it would have to be something to eat. You know? So food. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean you're you're a chef. I mean, yeah, and I would miss the food too for sure. Yeah, the food was pretty bad. There were some things that were appealing. Like the best thing was hot dog day because nobody wanted to eat the hot dogs mm -hmm. because they were really low quality. Right. But I'd be like, hey, it's a hot dog. You know? right. So I'd get to eat like hot dogs 10, are already low 10, quality. You're like, you look like Joey <laughs> Chestnut and shit. You're yeah, like, exactly. Because you don't have, stuff all, and you don't have all the time to concept. sit back and relax and eat your food. You know. Um, no, it's, it's scarf it and then get the hell out in the prison yard. And I was fine with that because I eat like a animal anyway. So like I'd be done. You know? Right. And um, uh, I guess there's a commissary there. Where you can buy stuff. Is yeah. it true? Uh, like that's how the currency was, like packs of tuna. Stamps. Stamps. Stamps, stamps? are literally, but because it's the only thing that's kind of countable. That's always the same. That's, yeah. You know. Um. I and I would because they would gamble with those. That was a big thing. Did you play cards? I I hear don't get it. Don't Sometimes get Sometimes spades. Don't get into the the card game because that's when you start spades getting spades. And um, the worst was Scrabble. Scrabble? Yeah. With the little yeah, yeah, with the little letters because there's you guys played Scrabble? Sure, yeah. For money, I'm sure. Wow. And um the only thing oh. is there weren't a lot of really smart <laughs> what would you put up there, by the way. Former bank robber. Well, isn't Congratulations, that true? buddy. It's not true, there, right? What? Former, former bank yeah. robber, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Former, yeah. For the moment. Yeah, let's say yeah. that. Yeah, Scrabble was tough because it's not a lot of not a lot of readers. Yeah, so, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> alt, alt is not a word. Olk, right? O L Q. That is not a word. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Wow. Scrabble. Like, he pulls a shank on. He's like, it is now. It is and it's not. like, yeah, you yeah. got me on that one, buddy. The thing that you know, Scrabble. Like, if I get, if I lose my point, I flip the board, man. Flip that do, board. And all the tiles go everywhere. Yeah. yeah guess what? That's what everybody does in prison when they lose at anything. You know, they're checkers Good or point. chess or Good you know, point. Um, I was who was a lot one? of chess players in prison. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, a, that's a one where you want to pretend yeah. that you're smart. You know, probably okay. not very good. But the one I was I was locked up with on Rikers Island was Trevor Von Eden's brother or cousin. Whoa, yeah. Trevor Von Eden was a uh, Black is, Lightning. Yeah, comic book artist. Oh, he, okay, he, right on. Okay, he yeah. and Tony Isabella created Black Lightning. 
When I was a he kid, I was... Pri- oh, he, his brother won up in prison. Brother. Yeah, okay. Yeah. When he was young... Or a cousin. Cousin, right. yeah. Okay. When he was young, he was the youngest person to ever get their own comic. Sure. And I was really pissed because he wasn't that good. Yeah. I mean, to me. Uh, uh, it's, uh, but he, I he, liked he, it. I thought his art was good. Yeah, but it worked out for I'm him. I'm picky for, you know... But not right. his cousin. Not his cousin, no. Right. Did you talk comics? He's like, hey, man, I love your, your no, art. No, but somebody had an X-Men, uh, the black and white ones. Oh yeah, were you okay. able? Did you send him comics? Were you able to read comics? In um, what did I? You know, I don't even remember what I sent you. I know I sent you stamps, yeah. the pastels, the stamps, and there was like some foods I could send you. Yeah, like some stuff they would get sent back. Like they uh, actually threw Charlene out. Charlene sent me salami once, and because it said red wine, oh, the ingredients they wouldn't yeah. let me have. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> this will make him go crazy. Right, right. He's going to get drunk on red wine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The red wine salami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there wasn't much of that, the homemade wine thing. Um, oh, and uh, I, I think it was paper. Paper I could send okay. you. Uh, like spiral bound notebook. No, not allowed not to have spiral. spiral. No, spiral would be. No, that was wrong. It was the uh, the tear out notebook. So, yeah, that I think I sent you as uh, because I'm a wise ass. I sent you coloring books. Okay. Yeah. That's possible. Oh, yeah. With the pastels. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. So I st- and technically I did. And I think I did send you comics. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. yeah. So here, these are so shitty you, comics. So you got Enjoy. out of what, 2007? Uh, sugar and Spice really yeah. weren't my, in my no, wheelhouse, gotcha. but um, 2006. 2006, you were released. Uh, so have you kept your nose clean for the most part since then? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You know, speeding tickets, maybe. No, uh, I don't speed. I don't you know. don't speed. Okay. No, he's a creeping Jesus. He is. Uh, he keeps like five miles under the. Speed okay, limit. so you're actively trying not to get caught by anything. Mm, I buy okay. uh, no, no. If you know Pizza John, no, no, he's not active. Right. So what are you up to now? Nothing. Just uh, humping pork roll sandwiches at some deli in Middlesex. Nice. I like. I work like roll. sixty like sixty hours a week. That's and a lot. I'm yeah. Old and broken down. So. Yeah. I mean, for um, you know, we have a lot of kids who listen to this show. Yeah. A lot of young, you know, well. Um, you know, is there any advice you would give them? <laughs> would you? Did you um? <laughs> did you have to? Did, did you ever have like the the, the those uh, like the the groups of kids come in? Do you have to uh, like scare no, anybody straight? straight? No, no, yeah, no. you you see? The, do you ever tell kids that you want to wind up like this? You think this is good, cool? Well, this is you know, you got your kids here. You know, do you want to, you want to say anything to him? Like, whatever you, you want. want to wind up like this? Because you know what? I can tell you anything, and you're never going to listen. Because most everybody does whatever they want. You know, that's it. that's you pretty can, much. You can tell him, you know, a cautionary tale, but right. unless I mean, holy Christ, I was telling him not to get. I'm like, stop. So before you get caught, stop right now. Yeah. You're on a winning streak. Right. Yeah. I mean, you stop right now. We're done. We're right, good. Right. You, you walk away, well, I mean, and you're, you're like, you're... I beat the bank. But you know, it's like pressure luck. That old lady always goes for that one, one last, last one. Spin. No whammy, no whammy, has no to, whammy. Has to spin. Oh, shit, whammy. Yeah. And that's that's what always happens. And that's um, actually it's it's one of the lessons you learn like when you first go into to AA is um, don't don't fuck up your <laughs> don't fuck up sure. your life. Don't fuck up right, somebody right, else's. Right. So and you know. It, you know, uh, it sounds like you had a pretty f- kind of a fun three months. You've like, had it was, it was wild. It was wild. Okay. You've had an interesting. You've had one of the more interesting lives <laughs> that <laughs> I've. It, it's very true. Um, I don't know. We haven't had any like convicts, have we? I have no idea. I don't. I don't, I, well, I don't that, that's know, not so, one of our questions. But this is such a great story. You're and, talking and about maybe writing I'm a sorry, book, or he's an ex-convict, and ex-convict. I think that he could do a great book on. Yeah, this. or even we could even a comic book, or well, that's what I'm trying to do. Something with uh, I'm trying to work on this cartoon, Kids which book? is a half cooking show, half autobiography. Just tell I would that would be I I think that'd be awesome. I'm trying to figure out the animation program and stuff like that, and just getting more into right um, illustrating and things like that. Because it is, I can, I can, I can, my father gave us the gift of gab. Sure. You know, I can tell a story real well. That's well, why. I, we got mics here, my friend. Uh, I, hate, I think a lot, everybody listening right now is riveted. I hate when people cool. can't tell a story. We got, uh, yeah, our friend, uh, we got hey, our friend, Cam, this is so awesome. Uh, such a different story from the normal. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we usually don't talk about community Oh, no, of crime. course not. On here, Stuart Greenberg, a uh, uh, fellow pot, shared universe podcaster. Mike, you are a stand up guy. I'm not really sure what for, but thank you, Stuart. But you're a stand up guy. Stu, you the man. Uh, yeah, you. I think it's probably Stu's like, if, if I got a body, Mike's my first call. Yeah, Dante <laughs> Hicks. Uh, were there dye packs I used to see in the movies? You said specifically in the note, no, no dye packs. Fire, you don't put it in a package or anything. It's right. Just, but I'm surprised they listened to that, though. They're like, oh, he says no dye packs. I'm well, I'm also not giving them a bag to fill up. Right. 
Uh, Luke H. Brown, cartoon cooking show. I'm super, super impressed. Or yeah. comic book cooking show. That uh, that would be very fun, Tony. Stay tuned next week to meet Mike's other friend, the former car thief. If you know any, <laughs> you know any car thieves, uh, uh, do, I, do I? That's the um, Patrick. That's the know. number one recidivism rate is for car uh, thieves. Car thieves. Yeah. Um, well, I don't it's know. Easy. If, I don't know if it's the Kevin Smith, but like I know these guys. So did you? Uh, were you acquainted with Kevin at all? You li you lived in Highlands. Did you know of Kevin Smith? I know. Or? knew of him. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we. Uh, no, you came down here. What like nineteen ninety six. Oh, yeah. great question, Mike Lappin. Why are you called Pizza John? Oh, because in I'm going to field this one. Uh, because in AA, there everyone named John. There's so many freaking Johns that everybody gets their own. Um, unless you're unless you're so Johnny, you some kind of nickname. You get okay. a nickname. So there's that there was there was a guy named Glad John who was the most morose motherfucker you'd ever want to meet. Okay, or here comes asshole John, or here um, comes like clubfoot. We had foot Dirty John, John Dirty who John. literally. Was the dirtiest, smelliest person you'd sure, ever want to. Sure. Um, teacher John. Teacher John. He was. A, okay. He was literally a teacher. a teacher. Yeah. I mean, we're we're not big on. Did you um, ever get a nickname? I imagine there's a lot of mics out there. Like Chef no. Mike. I'm sure, I was Mike, just zap zap. There was a lot of Carl's. There was junk Carl's. Carl. It was weird. Yeah. It was heating and Carl. Heating and cooling Carl. Yes. And smelly Carl. So you got yellow Carl. You yellow got Carl. Pizza that was you, because oh you made pizzas. Yeah, because I had the pizzeria was across the street from nice. the, uh, from the loft. Yeah, Happy, Happy Elvis. Happy, Happy Elvis, Elvis pizza. You ever think about reviving that? I would totally go to a place called Happy Elvis. Do something, but I want to do. I can't do pizza as much anymore because of my shoulder. I messed it up working a few years ago. Um, I want to do something with a simple menu and not open all the time. The Happy Elvis food truck. Yeah, something like that. That'd yeah. be great. I'm I'm thinking, hey, you know what? Come um, see us. Yeah, Caleb and I think we got a new <laughs> fan here. Where can I watch your guys' previous episodes? Uh, we are on Facebook, and then all of all of these go into audio format as a podcast. Uh, look up the Ming and Mike Show on iTunes, on yeah. Spotify, on the Google Play Store, uh, or just do just do a search. Yeah, Google Ming, Ming, and Mike. Ming and Mike Show. These will all go up on there, um, and then. Uh, all these previous shows are up on our uh, YouTube, a uh, shared universe YouTube, uh, the Ming Chen YouTube. There, these nice. are everywhere. These are these are. Should everywhere. I give you access to the Mike's apps at YouTube so we can have like? If you want, more? yeah, yeah absolutely. Why not? All right, absolutely. Cool. Um, uh, Stuart said you're a good guy because you wouldn't turn Rob Bruce in. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> I guess cool. That makes you awesome. Oh, so. Thank you. I, I, you know what? It's, it's just you're a good guy. Snitch, snitch, snitches get stitches. That's that's the one thing. That's another thing you learn in AA. Snitches get stitches. Be a stand-up dude. Because uh, um, I'll tell the story later on. Uh, Navison Country Club, I, I actually uh, ratted out a dude. And my, so, okay. my sponsor was like, you are rat? I'm like, oh, come on, oh, yeah, Johnny. He got, yeah, he got upset. He got that. pissed off at me. It seems to be a general rule. Just don't. You don't do it, but this guy dropped uh, food on the floor. And, so and we right. hated him. Okay. And he served it. Sure. Dropped food on the floor, served uh, it, and that... we hated him. And we wanted him out of there. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, um, wow. then, like you don't do foul things. That's the one unwritten thing. Okay. People will always talk about, oh, you're spitting his food. And I always say, listen, I don't really like to play around and right. talk about that. Because that's you got to have some trust that people aren't doing <laughs> yeah. it. That, that's unprofessional. No. It, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I may rob banks, but I've got I'll, a set of ethics. I'll eat food off the floor, but I can't sell food off the oh, floor. Oh, sure. Else. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's just the code that you don't break. That's so exactly yes. what it is. Sure. And I understand. You don't do. And salmon was it, wasn't it? That was another no, job was that chicken. I worked behind him. Yeah, okay. it was chicken. Uh, he dropped uh, an entire tray full of chicken that was supposed to go out to a um, a wedding. I mean, it was a wedding oh, reception. God. And the guys, they were paying through the nose sure. for this. Sure, and like, Dude, just put another and, maybe, put exactly. piece of chicken. I'm like, paying for well, it. it's, it's a full tray, so that's like 60 oh, pieces of chicken. Oh, the whole tray went on the floor? Yeah. And they just scooped it up yeah. and... Oh, and I'm God. like, what are you doing? And <laughs> it's dangerous because it was a country club. Right, right. And if you're in a country club, and... a lot of traffic. And there are people out there walking around. We, we would have like all the golf guys come in sure. with their cleats. Yep, yep. And there's uh, pesticides on there. And there's dirt. <laughs> yep. And there's Fecal manure. Matter, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, all yeah. sorts of stuff. So we're like, you are not serving them. He's like, yes, I am. And he's, he's like, uh, uh, actually, I, I think he told me to go fuck myself. And I'm like, oh, that was a good no. Nope, well, nope, right that's there. it. You're dear yeah. toast then. And then we went, and we're like, it was the day before Mother's Day, and we we walked out. We're like, go fuck yourself. So and yeah, then my sponsor's like, you ratted him out. I'm like, yes, yeah, yeah. Right. He he's a asshole. piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Piece yeah. Of shit, so. he's he's not he's not of the uh, the brotherhood. Get yeah. out. Mr. Here. Blonde is asked that Mike and me robbed a bank. Who'd be the one in the bank? Who'd be the getaway driver? 
Um, it's a good question. I think you'd probably want to be the getaway driver because you're like, here, you go do this. Well, right, like um, if I if I look through the window and I see them taking you down, I'm out of there. <laughs> the I'm juice is of, on its I'm way out. Yeah, I I'm just got there. a little nervous. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I'm not being like, taken down. They're actually giving yeah, me yeah, more money. Giving more money. So and I'm imagine, like, uh, oh shit! Now I gotta jump on a, a subway, go uptown, and then take a cab back. That son I of just, a bitch! I just couldn't. I'd be too. I'd be in line with the knowing like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, I'm you'd be. It. It's a different. I guess you know different. But then mindset. once you do it, you just realize, wow, that's so simple. Yeah. The only problem is when you're getting uh, sucker punched and your jaw fractured. Right. Right. Um, and you, that was after. And, then people want to kill you. Um, you know that's a problem. And you were saying at this time, 2004 ish, that there were 12 multiple rob bank robberies being committed on the oh, same yeah, day. Yeah. And the only thing is they don't wow. really they don't charge all of them. They don't go after sure. all of them. You know, the FBI and, and even the major case squad, they don't have time to get everything. I think I've noticed this. Yeah, even now, if you can get away with it, they're just kind of, it's, a lot of people don't get caught. I got to tell you that uh, I think the number of crimes that get solved out of all the crimes sure. that are uh, rep reported, yeah. not even the ones that, that go unreported, right. but the ones that are reported, only about 20% ever yeah. get solved. And, and ninety percent of those get solved through snitches. Yeah. Okay. Who then, gets stitches? Right. right. This that is, is why one of the things. Work. That's police work. Really, a lot of it is you have to have someone who saw it, which makes sense. Yeah. You know? but even though you talked, it was the the picture going kind of like New York City, oh, New York yeah. Post, oh all God. that. That yeah. There's yeah, no they, there's no escaping that. The oh, daily crap, news. Man. That and I mean a flurry of phone calls between when you came, you said goodbye. You've got a you've got your backpack on your back, and you're like. Listen, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Check out the New York Post, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. and that so that you get like that you're, sinking you're, in your stomach. <laughs> Even at the end, you're still joking around about it. Though. Yeah, you're right. like, check out the post. Yeah, I'm like, um, and I'm like, <laughs> I said, call, call, collect. I said that they'll probably have a tap on my phone, sure. and I the flurry of phone calls between uh, our sponsor Johnny, mm -hmm. who called me, he's like hey did you check out the post right. i'm like oh mother and he's like you know and, and i i should have asked him like who did rat you out yeah. so i could i have your enemies list for when right. you go out uh right. but it's only a matter of time though before like you oh, identified yeah. and then caught so but, but you um, turned yourself in which is probably helped you out in the that end. helps you out because and, especially when you're you know being told right you know. and charlene was uh she was a paralegal so yeah, she yeah. she was um Charlene, our boss over at the fort. Yes. When we were still, you know, slicing deli meat, right. uh, she was actually a paralegal, so she was looking out for his best yeah, interest. Yeah, yeah. My brother, the lawyer, is like, "You're about to, yeah, your your world's about to be yeah, upended." Yeah. I'm yeah. like, "All right." So yeah. all the associates they talked to, or or nobody, they... nobody talked to me. Nobody ever came up and said, "So you're the only time I ever got questioned by the FBI mm -hmm. is when I was driving by and." Um, or when they said that this is another story, uh, somebody claimed that I was driving by Fort Monmouth okay. and I was taking pictures of the guard shack. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, no, I'm, I'm like that. That didn't happen. I was flipping somebody the bird maybe, but, yeah. and somebody got pissed off enough at me right. to call the, the FBI One of those protesters that are out there. No, no, no. It was because somebody was driving like an asshole around Fort Monmouth, like going too slow or, right. Or like cut me off. So, and yeah, that was that was fun. So that's the only time I've ever had the FBI come up to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, do you want to know about Pizza John? I've had them ask me. They asked me, and uh, they questioned me when I was in the city when I was uh, staying at the shelter. Like, who were you getting in touch with? Or no, they, they um, asked me if I had done something, and I said, no, no, that wasn't me. You know, said, oh, <laughs> yeah. Did, did like, you, you know, see a picture know. of me on page three? Listen, if it's not on page two this time of the yeah. post. Go I, fuck I had to it. get a. I had to get court papers when I was suing. I had to get them notarized, and there was nowhere to take them. And I oh, went God. to the UPS people, and they said, "No." I, they said, "But go to the Commerce Bank across the street <laughs> and get them." And I asked the guy. I said, "Listen." I said, "Someone told me that you do notarized." Blah blah blah. He said, "Yeah, sure." He notarized. I said, "How much do I owe you?" I said, um, "He said, no, don't worry about it. It's nothing." And I remember because I said. You people in commerce, I said, you are just the friendliest. They said, I have never <laughs> come in here and asked you for something. You're not just giving me everything <laughs> right. that you have. Yeah, you know? and I know firsthand. <laughs> um, and then they ended up, I ended up opening a bank account when I'm living in Bridgewater. And <laughs> you conveniently forgot that. And, it was... and they took my money. Mm -hmm. um, I put the deposit. Sure. I said, well, let me open up a bank right. account. And I went through all the stuff and I, I put the money in the bank. And then I went to use the card like a couple of days later that they sent me. 
and it wasn't working. And I called up and it was funny when I called up, it immediately obviously went to somewhere else when I put in my number because the guy gets on and he's like the head of security for um, Commerce Bank. And he says, well, we took your money and we're not giving it back. You know, it was only a couple hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, did you have to make restitution? No, no, you couldn't. You couldn't. But I ended really? up making it anyways. Um, I got a settlement of, a few years ago for an arm injury and I basically made it on the sly. So, uh, okay. and it was, in a, it was a substantial amount of money. Yeah. I, I but because I just, I, I'd rather not have that hanging sure, on my head. Sure. Um, but they, when I opened up the bank account again, he says, you know why we took the money? You robbed us, blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah. I said, but that's not how you do things. So they put it in the computer that this guy robbed us. And <laughs> and to, and, and I'm sure he's got a little asterisk and, next, so next wait, to are his they, name. Is that legal that you make a deposit in the bank and they just take it? No, because they had, to, they had to give it back. Well, yeah, but it's not legal what I did either. <laughs> no, no, no I, 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 I understand. You kind of hate. Because everybody got really pissed in my family. They, said, they can't do that to you. And I said, right. I said, well, I said, really, it's not, it's not that unfair. And then it was funny because I didn't say anything. And two weeks later, I get a check in the mail for the full amount. Oh. And they just gave it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they're like, we could do this to you. <laughs> so, so bank elsewhere. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Wait, so you opened up an account at Commerce Bank after yeah. years after? I had one when I, in fact, that was what the guy told me when, when they took me down for, and I met the guy from, uh, from Commerce Security and actually was on TV that mm -hmm. night. They were interviewing him about right. me and all this and, um, and he says, we closed your account in, uh, I think it was in Red Bank. He says, we closed your account in Red Bank. I said, yeah, there was only like $3. Right. I said, but I'm, I'm, I, we're, we're good. <laughs> you know, You've always had more balls than sense. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, there was stuff. When, the, when they had the lineup, when they bought some, and it's funny because they had like three Spanish guys that they just obviously right. Got. So they had a lineup, and the I guess the no tellers, sitting down like that was the, the, the tellers would come that in. That was and, the sad thing is, I guess they like, had to identify you. It wasn't like on TV where you know you were against like the, the usual wall. suspects. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all right, turn to the left. <laughs> to the it's left. Three short Spanish guys mm -hmm. that look nothing like right. me, you know, and uh, and the guy said, "Say the line." Give me the kids, you motherfucker. Give me the keys, motherfucker. In English. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. They, um, <laughs> in English. When, when the, when the one cop said the woman fainted when she was, I, I said, well, The uh, teller? Yeah. She fainted in the lineup? Yeah. No, she fainted? She, she fainted looking at me when she saw me. Wow. And that was the one oh, that was it the one that was all, like, nervous? Yeah, yeah, yeah all nervous. <laughs> I said, oh, thanks for making me feel like Frankenstein, you know? Oh, that is kind of uh, <laughs> That's a little dick. But. Wow. Well, I mean, this is quite a story, my friend. Uh, thank you for being so open, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, I when Mike told me you, that you, you had a friend oh, who was yeah. I had a million questions, and I sure. think you answered all of them. So. Oh, good, good, good. And listen, see, it might be a tough sell for you because, you know. Uh, what, robbing banks? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, I I really don't want to end up in the joint. So, I mean, I think the, the no most. One, that's in, what you have to get rid of. You but have I, to get rid of that possible in, thought in your head. In a way, I understand the kind of the adrenaline rush. Like it's, the worst thing I've done is like I, I was selling bootleg um, uh, DVDs on, on eBay for a while. Ooh. This was about the time you got out of jail. Okay. I yeah. figured out. Um, and the, the I think the biggest one, the, the biggest moneymaker was the 66 Batman. It oh, was okay. not out officially. Oh, and all right. Yeah. So somehow we got. Um, I bet, and I bet we could still sell these. They were the ABC. Um, they were the masters. They were the master tapes from ABC yeah, of, of the Batman of all hundred. That's an insert commercial here. Yeah, and at the beginning, it had the old ABC like logo. It was it's a cool collection. I might have seen that at some point. Actually, like, yeah. downloaded it or something because I think I and we got it. I got it. No, like you bought them. You did. Holy you bought shit! Them at you I bought them at Chiller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You did. I oh the my Fantastic god! Fantastic Four. As well. Yes. Yeah. 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 There was the like, I love this. I've gotten cash. Somebody go. digitized. Yeah, the ABC Master Tapes from the Batman Six Six series. I got a copy of them. Probably at a Comic Con. Duplicated them. Made some pretty cool artwork. I thought. Oh yeah. And my first customer, Mike, was like, "Hey man, can you make me one of those?" And Walt wanted one. And I was like, "Hey, do you think we could sell these?" And I and think we, I thought we could. And we looked on eBay, and there were a couple people also selling them, but like their artwork wasn't. It's crappy. They're a bad quality DVDs. I'm like, I could do better than this. And this and is I, when eBay wasn't like quite policing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we sold, a, yeah, I sold the whole set for 75, 80 bucks a pop. It was a very merry Christmas would, that um, year. Yeah, for they me. would, you know, I had a, 
it was all enterprise. So I had to buy the case, the multi disc cases. Okay. I had to buy ink for to the high quality printer paper, and then the the thing to put on the discs it, itself. Oh, you so were really doing. You were really doing. Oh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this yeah. isn't. And this wasn't fly by level night. Counter yeah, Damn. but you know, it wasn't exactly legal. It's I didn't not even counterfeit. It's not legal now. Either. I didn't have the rights. Yeah, you're right. It was. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you know my justification was, and I'm sure you justified it as. How did you justify the crime? Did you fun. Money? just fun? It was fun. You know, like Willie, you know, Willie Sutton Wait. was a famous bank robber. Who was also escaped sure. from prisons famously. Okay, and he repeatedly would go back to robbing banks, and they asked him, "Why do you rob mm -hmm. banks?" And you know what his answer was? What do you say? That's where the money is. That's a good point. But were you like, this is a victimless crime? They, these are they're insured. Yeah, like no one, yeah, I'm not hurting not, anybody. Not who's my my big failing was who's going to recognize? Me? Sure, you know, I mean, I'm just like like anybody else, you know. I'm not wearing a Yankee hat. You know? Right, right. I'm not doing anybody any disrespect. Yeah. My I had one where I had grown a little goatee. Okay. And that was one I did when I did two in one day. And I did the first one, and then I went and shaved. Oh, wow. And then I went and did another one because I figured, well, you won't recognize me because I have a goatee. Yeah. I mean, but looking you back. You didn't have a goatee when you robbed it the first time. So no, yeah. <laughs> looking back, would you have covered your face? the goatee. Heart, not many ways to cover your face. Well, you get a bandana now. That that would have oh, worked. Now, or not? Now, you, now. But <laughs> but back in the day, it's not like you can you know like walk into a thing with because they do say you'll see signs up that's all a over point. a bank. That, I always wanted to rob. No you know, that's covers. a good point. And while you're in line, yeah, you can't wear a bandana and you're like, well, like guys can rob the place. Always want to rob a bank on Halloween because it just seems like a no brainer. But now, I mean, yeah, every day is yeah, Halloween yeah. now. Right. You know? Right. And now you really feel like like that's the only fun thing that I do is I put this on and it's cool because I feel like you know, <laughs> stick them up, yeah. Kid, kid Colt outlaw. <laughs> yeah, my justification is on the Batman DVD is like, all right, it wasn't out officially; it was tied up in legal battles. Yes, I remember they had some. That's why Fox they couldn't put it that. out. And... Yeah, it was Fox Greenway and uh, yeah, 20th Century Fox Greenway, and I heard that uh, Nelson Riddle was also oh, okay. because of the, uh, the music, right? The music, yeah. Yeah, it was three people. And then I was Neil. like, all right, well, you know, I'm getting this out to real fans. Like, yeah. the real fans should You're have doing these. doing something. For and people. I'm going to yeah. provide it to them, you know, at a small premium. You know, yeah. I, I take a little money for my effort. you got to have a taste. Yeah. yeah. And it, it was, it went well for almost a year. And then uh, they started cracking down yeah. and uh, started banning accounts and things like that. And I was like, I'm, right, a, like a, I'm a long ago pirate for everything from software to, you know, Oh sure. Yeah, I just sure. I, I have no qualms sure. about the, you know um, other people's rights concerning. Well, we don't have to talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's right. that's stuff that's going on now. Right on. Uh, I, I uh, if anybody else has any questions, uh, throw them up online. Uh, Daniel, you have any questions for? Uh, no questions. No, he's like I'm hungry. I want to go home. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. This is this is great, man. Yeah, this has been great. It's Two great. hours went by like. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, you're invited to come back anytime. We don't have to talk about. We never, we, we never we talked talk about, about Mark Belanger. He was great, by the way. Oh, the the yeah, it's a baseball player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greatest defensive shortstop of all time. I yes, I would probably uh, him and Ozzy Smith. Uh, the Wizard. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. But um, cool, you guys. And can Mark Blanche smoked cigarettes. That was his. <laughs> I, I think a lot of baseball players did, which yeah. was the funniest thing. Uh, so out of shape, smoking could, butts. Yeah, you could play baseball, be three hundred pounds, and be a Hall of Famer even. So yes. yeah, look at Babe Ruth. <laughs> yeah, look at Babe Ruth. Eight, yeah. Eighteen Orioles cigars, right man. Right now, yeah. Well, it was Trey Mancini, but uh, he's he's recovering from colon cancer right now. So, um, they discovered it before spring training. So that's a whole other thing. Okay. But we'll talk soon. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Daniel, thank you for uh, making us sound awesome. Right. Yeah, thanks, without you. And uh, yeah, you can uh, yeah hit that end broadcast. It'll confirm it, and then.